Hey, what's up, man? I just want to let you know. Hey, Trey, can we get one box and over? How much one box and over cost? I ain't got the monthly rate, you know what I mean? I can't pay the five dollars, Jake. I can't pay the five. But come on, Trey, can you just give us one box? No, how much one box and over cost? Finished up my Friday morning chat in the Discord channel. Vo- voice chat, a voice call chat with the people. Ooh, Patreon. that is nice. Patreon subscribers. How much? How much uh, is that for Patreon? Ten dollars a month? No, this is available to all Patreon subscribers. No way! I have to pay like thirty bucks a month just to talk to you. <laughs> exactly. It's pretty cool. I sent you the link. Last night. Oh, I was chatting last night. I was hanging oh, out. In there? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, it was fun. Uh, it's very nice people in there. A lot of, yeah, really nice. A lot of action. Um, we talked about Russell Westbrook a little bit, and uh, yeah, it was it was really cool time. It was like Twitter, but for our fan. Oh, Trey is coming through as a fax. Trey's getting scanned. Trey. It kind of sounds like what an old printer sounds like. Oh, my like God. Like an old one of those with the, the ribbons on the side. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He came I don't, through I don't the, know what that was. He came through. The printing machine worked. No Wait, it was, a, it was a noise? He sounded like a oh. fax. Oh, I, I don't know. I couldn't hear it on my end. I just, sa- I just answered normally. You legit sounded like a fax, like that noise. Um, yeah, it was it was an episode of Black Mirror, the audio version. <laughs> Yo, speaking Trey. of audio, you were on the Discord with me last night. That was a pretty crazy place, huh? That's you, Trey. I didn't even know that was right. I thought you had a super fan or something, huh? Trey, I heard no. the bootleg link of our Discord. It went out in your channel. Oh yeah, yeah. I had already had a Discord. I didn't know y'all was doing that. Um, it's part of the so- Patreon subscription. But I, apparently, I got bootleggers in there now. So if you, you're roaming oh. around, you're roaming around the Count the Dings Discord without without being a Patreon. Watch out! <laughs> oh man, that's funny. That's crazy. I'm, I'm coming to look yeah. for you. Yeah, somebody passed it. Somebody posted it in, in in my Discord, and I was like, okay. It was like, I think you're wanted in here, and I'm like, um. So I accepted it, and then I ended up in there, and I was like, oh, what's up? I sent I didn't you. Even know. I sent you the link in the email last night. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got it, but I didn't get a chance to like, you know, like, because I don't have it on my phone. I have it on my laptop. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's how I hopped on. Um, but, yeah, that's crazy. Mariano. My bad. That's Yo, fine. brought the stragglers. It's okay. I they bootleg. Said- Somebody going to bootleg anything. So, you got to look at it like that. <laughs> no matter what it is in the world, it's mm. bootleg. It's pretty cool. I just held a uh, conference call with some fans. It was pretty neat. Oh yeah, yeah. You definitely. I like the uh, the voice thing. That's pretty killer. Uh, well, let's see. Zach is going to be late. Is that what I'm being told? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, gonna pop in though. Was any word from Was? Still trying. Was well, still trying to figure out how that Spotify video. <laughs> Yo, that's it. Where is that man? I was trying to watch it. I ended up listening to the show though. I I've listened to it too. That's the score on the uninterrupted. Uh, I don't know where the Spotlight Discovery Channel is, though. I texted him last night. What's up, Eden? <clears throat> What's up? Hey, Eden. Eden. That was you clearing your throat? No, that wasn't oh, me. Oh, I was like, damn, this shit is fucking big. I was, I was like, damn, what you doing to your throat, man? <laughs> oh, shit. Is that Mari? Like that. Yeah, it's that's me. Mari. Hey, what? Mari. What's up? What's going on? It's been forever. I know, Zach man. It's green here. 
He's greenlit. Wait a minute. It hasn't been that long. It's been a minute. What? Eat yeah, it. he ain't he ain't Eat. been on the mailbag in a minute. Like, yeah, Mari's been on Mondays, but I like, think it was like two weeks ago. Last time I was on on, on mailbag, I think. which is a really time. long time. That's yeah. a long time. Yeah. Ago, time. My, that's, mailbag but time. you had the exact same conversation. Right. The exact same conversation, Harper. <laughs> well, I you. miss Mari when he's not here for a week Snake, or two. You, okay, I miss, I'll be missing you too. Wait, Harper, what do you, what's your story right now? I got a meeting. Oh, where are you in a car? He in no, the meeting I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm in the meeting right now. You guys got to. Uh, no, I'm. Uh, no, I'm uh, waiting outside right now. Oh shit! What up, Zach? Oh. Uh, so you, I always say I'm in a I'm meeting whenever I have to go to the bathroom. Jade, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get noisy in thirty though because I gotta head to the airport. Um. Well, where are you going, Trey? I'm going to Frisco. Ooh, Frisco. Oh, speaking Planning. of speaking of you Frisco, guys, you guys are not gonna, you guys are not going to get away with that without Maze on the pod. Speaking of, I'm yeah. going to step up. Yeah, exactly. Maze is uh, out doing some LSD you know, in Maze? Joshua Tree. Yeah, he's in Joshua Tree, uh, <laughs> finding oh, himself. No invite. What's, a, what's amazing so is Maze Maze actually thinks he's on the mailbag right now. He has no idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's taking calls. He's uh, <laughs> Maze is wondering why he why he just introed everybody and nobody said anything back to him. <laughs> He's it's doing the, intros by himself. It's, right. It's the, it's the peyote man. He's doing yeah, he's doing intros to a cactus right now. Has no idea. Uh, he's added the cactus. Just to like the tripping intro. on ayahuasca yeah. in the desert, giving the mailbag intro. Uh, I'm very, playing in a Warriors World tourney though. What's that? Oh, oh nice. Shout out. Is that yeah. why you're going there? Yeah. Are you it's uh, desert of the dessert? What's your team? The cactus <laughs> standing in front of me. Uh, I don't know. The the one, I forgot the team the one name. Born with the ro- thorn. I'm a, uh, <laughs> born with the thorn is funny. Um, I don't. I don't. We didn't actually. I don't know if we cho- chose a, a name or not. I, I just hopped on a team with my man. Cool water, even though it's hotter. The cactus <laughs> in front of me. Trey, are you playing with people you know this time? Didn't you end it's up with the needle next year? to the desert beetle? Yeah, I played with a random team actually last year. Um, and this is still kind of a random team. I know G because he worked at Apple. Like that's my life, my homie. Fucking desert beetle. But, the plant. In the middle of dried land, <laughs> standing in the sand, it's the cactus. So, who's going to ask questions today? Eden, is that going to be your job? I can. Okay, um, cool. I wasn't prepared for it, That's but fine. I can. Nobody, got, nobody ever is. Yeah. Nobody You're already qualified. Per- peruse the questions while I do a couple of things housekeeping-wise and then bring out our first guest, who is a right. woman. A I woman. I got a woman guest oh, okay. today, guys. Well, um, I know nice. who it Congratulations. is. Oh man, um, she told can you. Someone, can someone, can someone take nah, down a list of the me. people? I don't know who I'm out. I'm just joking. Uh, the, just what, a list of, what list of people? That, so <laughs> was, for the for so the, uh, so the outro. Do the outro. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, I'll keep it simple for you this week, Zach. And by simple, it's going to be very complicated. <laughs> Uh, sounds about sounds about white. Sounds about yep. white. <laughs> sounds, sounds about, about white, white for sure. <laughs> Who am I missing? Is uh, Big Wash joining us today, or is he out? I don't know. Shoot a flare. <laughs> anyway, so first of all, how did you do in draft? People are killing you. This is all I've been seeing. Uh, They're killing uh, you. I won. Thir- I won thirteen fifty last night. But also, when you play six drafts at once, uh-huh. you know. I mean, I yeah, you, went. You can you can take some L's. You're gonna take some L's. I went I went yeah. three for six the other the other night. Okay. You know did, I mean? you win, did you win did you win did you win money than you put up? Yeah, I rolled out yeah, with you could. Yeah, <laughs> that's a win. Tripping. Yeah, that's a win. Uh, Try are you playing those uh three dollar games? No, I, every game every game you gotta bring the big money to play me, man. Five dollars. Five dollar games. Ooh. Five dollar games. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Nah. Nah. Oh, Jay, Jay. We what? don't do three we don't do three dollar games over here. Jay, you were, you were wondering you were wondering what we were gonna do in the summer with draft. We're gonna do baseball because I did baseball draft yesterday. It is fun as fuck. Dude, I did one. I won uh, it's great. I finished second in my baseball draft. My yeah, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna probably do one of those tonight, man. My, I watched uh I watched it. I'm proud of myself. I watched an entire baseball game. Jay, you see our Yankees for the first time no, in my life. Didn't. Lies, dude. I Mario, won. Did, Jay, Mario, no. did you stay awake, dude? I won my oh, baseball no, no, draft I last night. I, I definitely took a couple naps. I didn't okay. stay up for those. Nah, hell. Okay. I, I, I Shouts to Paul. Jay, George. our Yankees though, ball. Uh, our Yankees out here hooping. Hoop it. Stands for Stanton. <laughs> Stands for Stanton. I saw that Stanton hit a yeah. home run on his first at bat. 
Two, 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 my two. man. Two, yeah, two, two, two. Two. Put some it's respect on, that, on his name. Juice. Uh, it's listen, on that New York juice. I, I had it's on that Waz juice. I had the kids yesterday. When we I call had that the kids, a nutcracker. The world stops for me. <laughs> Uh, every so time, yo, every time a baseball player is playing good or any athlete, always say they went and got a water out of A Rod's uh, refrigerator. Yep, yeah. absolutely. So I won. I won, I won my NBA draft last night. I also finished second in my baseball draft. Um, the title of my baseball draft was baseball. Yes. <laughs> Come on, that was Jay. good. That was good, Jay. Anyway, did you know? Hey, I was in a, hold I was, on, speaking Tom. of baseball, guys, hold guys, guys. Hold I was. Go I was ahead. in a, uh, I was in an Uber and we were talking about baseball and the guy's from Miami and he was telling me that Miami, the Marlins or Florida Marlins have never lost a playoff series in their entire franchise history. Isn't that- yeah, they've only been in like four. Yeah. They won them all. Yeah. And they won them all. He's like, yeah, they've never lost a playoff series. And I was like, yeah, that's the thing about the Marlins fan is just. Every time you get excited about a team, they sell off, and that's exactly yeah. what happened with Stanton. Well, they cheated. They cheated in '97, but we're not going to hold that against them. It's not their fault. But yeah. they cheated in '97 with Eric yeah, Gray, let's... who's passed away since then, who's a umpire who's calling you know curveballs two feet outside of the plate, strikes against the Atlanta Braves. It's not a big deal anymore. I'm over it. It clearly hasn't stuck with me. But just letting you know that Levon Hernandez was not that good. He was cheating. Wow. You know, I'm Greg Maddox, this. like I'm one of my I'm earliest Zach's baseball takes with wow. my oh, earliest man, I got, I got takes for days <laughs> when Greg Maddox had like through a, a complete game with like 81 pitches, 78 pitches, not, 78. To, not to, well, actually you, but 78 pitches, complete game. It was amazing. Sports center that next morning, like ran all the pitches and it took like 38 seconds. It was amazing. My, fav- my favorite great. Well, my favorite Greg Maddox story that's on the field is, uh, is he is he threw a pitch to Gary Sheffield, knowing that Gary Sheffield was going to hit it to the warning track, like not hit it out, but hit it to the warning track. He threw that pitch. Gary Sheffield hits it to the warning track and he's and he's like, OK, good. Now he thinks he can hit that pitch out of the park. I can get him out on it any time. That's how good Greg Maddox was. Mm. Man, that's crazy. It's the opposite of Manny Ramirez, who used to swing and miss on pitches early in the game on purpose. <laughs> you could yeah. get it later in the game. Oh, Manny was a, Manny was a, just a savant, a hitting savant. He was probably my favorite Red Sox. He's great. Love man. I mean, he's the he's the greatest hitter I've ever seen. He used to he used to bring a water bottle back pocket out to left field, <laughs> just Bro, like just chilling. What did he bring out? He used to I go bet that's not the only green monster and pee between innings. Oh yeah, yeah yes, I bet that's yes. not the only that's not the only substance he brought out to left field. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway. We need a baseball pod, Jake. Anyway, guys, that's, hey, people, people were asking for a baseball pod yesterday in the mentions. That's uh, mm. draft.com, where your chances of winning on draft are eighty percent better than on salary cap sites. That is why it's our favorite fantasy site. No more getting crushed by the pros. It's not just us. More than one million people have already downloaded Draft Two. Play in real live NBA drafts right now, or MLB drafts, or golf. But, that, but Jay, or golf. Jay, 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 wow. that, Count the bunts. It probably count the bunts. I like it. Um, I'm sure these drafts take a long time, right? It's probably very time consuming. No, Tom, uh, Zach, sorry. Five minutes. (laughs) Wow, we all sound alike. It takes five minutes. No, no, no. I knew knew that was you the whole time. It takes five minutes to get paid. I am so tired. Anyway, drafts are filling up every second. You can join one whenever you want. Uh, Invite Eden to a draft. I know she plays. Uh, all new players get a free entry into a real live money draft. Insert the promo code B2B. That's the number two between two Bs. Uh, search draft in your app store and go to draft.com. Come play for free with us. Hey, Tom. That, Tom, that was a great episode of uh, Snark Hoops this week, too. Good job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Yo. That really yeah, Tom, is a Tom, good Tom, your, 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 chemistry with, your chemistry with Kaylee is great. That's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> good God. <laughs> Yo, no, that was, congratulations. That was actually Rachel. That was actually Rachel. Oh, that was Rachel? Oh, cool. Yeah, congratulations to Ethan Sherwood Strauss and yeah, Allie. Yeah, yeah. Allie yeah, Strauss for their newborn. Congratulations. Say goodbye to sleep. What's the baby's name? Say goodbye to sleep. Asher. A S H E. I like the name Ash. Um, Say goodbye to sleep, Ethan. Goodbye to sleep. Goodbye to, like, Life. Well, when the baby gets a little I bit older. I told him. I told him. This, you know, baby, when, and actually, I didn't tell him, but you know that song, Say Goodbye to Yesterday, Tom? 
It's so hard <laughs> to say goodbye to yesterday. Yes. We all know that the Boys to Men version is way better than the Beatles version, right? That's right. 100%. Okay. I just want to make sure that everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, yes, that's what it's like. Say goodbye to yesterday, Ethan. Literally. Yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you can, congr- you can still, congratulations, you can still have Ethan. Food. You can still have your life because a newborn now. You can still have like get snacks and your food to yourself, but give it a couple years, you're gonna have to go eat in the closet somewhere. So I'm gonna eat in the car. I noticed, Ethan, go- <laughs> I noticed Ethan's going with the kind of like uh curmudgeon joke jokes. Have you noticed these on, on oh, yeah. Instagram? It's uh, a very curmudgeon type of humor. I like it, Ethan, but you got to embrace yeah. it, man. It's only once Ethan in your life. It's great, man. He says, sing to my baby because it's never too early to start punishing your kids. Now, you have one kid, that's Ethan. A, no, that, that's have, a good joke. <laughs> oh, you don't like him pluralizing that? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, Jade, you're already, you're already getting him shit for parenting? Yes, He's I like am. one day in. I am giving him shit. Yeah, let him oh, enjoy wow. the moment. I am giving him <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right. Now, coming to us all we the all way. We all know that um, I sing to my baby every night and every morning, every afternoon, every overnight. I sing to my baby maybe every six minutes. That's why you don't hear me sometimes on this pod is because I'm singing to my baby. Oh, that's cool. She loves it. Uh, coming to us all the way from Utah, Lisa Roger, are you here? I'm here. Oh, hey, to, Lisa. To go, Hi. I'm, I'm, Lisa, you're supposed to say, I'm, here. I'm here, you know. I know. I'm. I think I'm getting sick, so I don't think it'd sound as good. <laughs> oh no, you're getting sick. That's funny because I felt sick this morning too. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, hey, wait, Zay, oh, Zay, I wonder if it's related. Why is that funny? Zay, I was sitting? about to say, Zay, are you in Utah too, Jay? Like, why <laughs> is that saying. funny? Oh, it's <laughs> funny. I was. What are you talking about? Lisa and I talked for like 40 minutes yesterday, right, Lisa? And you said you said she got That's sick. That's correct. On the phone? I'm gonna tell your wife. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's an odd coincidence. Damn, Trey. <laughs> Nah, I ain't no snitch, man. Uh, you know, <laughs> anyway, Lisa, how's everything going there in Utah? Um, It's great. It's a beautiful day. I have the day off, so mm. I'd say it's an A day. Um, what do you have planned for your day off? Um, The gym, probably nice. going outside at some point and, you know, catching up on my, my shows, my binge watching. <laughs> Um, the past. Do you watch that on Hulu? It's really good. I like the path. Um, yep. And then just finishing up Scandal: How to Get Away with Murder. Some of oh, those before they go away. Scandal. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are you should, watching Scandal? The show? Should be how gone. To, how to get away with murder? Or are you trying oh. to find out how to get away with murder? <laughs> Scandal's <laughs> hella dragged out, huh? Yeah. Wait, I, Scandal's I, still on. Oh my! This God. is the last season, but it's been a struggle. I think I've Allegedly. only just stayed it's with like it. It's like Grey's Anatomy. Like I hate watching that for like four, four seasons, and I just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, I think I made I'm, it I'm not happy. It's the I'm worst it writing. Too. It's horrible acting. The only good part of the show is like their music interludes. Their music choices are impe- in like impeccable, but it's man. Yeah, and they've actually combined the two shows, uh, Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder. So now Olivia Pope is popping up on that show. So mm-hmm. Oh, that's how you know it's toasted. That's yeah. how you know they're out of ideas. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, this is going too far. Uh, There's definitely going to be a funny. shark on the last episode. So, <laughs> <laughs> like Sharknado. Uh, so Lisa and I spoke at length yesterday. I... Uh, Learned some very interesting things about her. Uh, I guess to, to to get there quickly, uh, Lisa's a Mormon, but didn't grow up a Mormon. And Lisa is also black. And that blew my mind because I just didn't know that you could be black and be a Mormon. <laughs> Did anybody else know and, this? And live in Utah. I mean, I, I yes. uh, shout outs to Jabari Parker. Yeah, Jeez. Jabari Parker. Jeez. Jabari Parker is a Mormon? Grew, yes, grew up dude. Mormon, yeah. Oh come on, Trey! You gonna you gonna go at me for this? <laughs> yeah. no, they were, they were, they were very they were very shit, disappointed. Jay, Jay, you just they were, they were very they were very disappointed when he didn't go to you or go to BYU. Okay. Everyone thought he was gonna go to right. BYU because of that connection because his like, mom grew almost, up here. I guess he right. almost didn't go to the NBA. He almost was going to do his retreat. Okay. Like I mean, go over and do his mission. Okay. Yeah. All right. Notwithstanding that, is this? I mean, it's very uncommon. What I'm saying is very uncommon to be black and a Mormon. A 
but then to have not been a Mormon, become a Mormon. And this is why I'm curious about how Lisa became a Mormon by, by her own choice. Yes. Yep. I actually, I didn't join the LDS church in Utah, actually in California. Um, Swag. And then, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of Mormons where I grew up and, you know, just kind of grew up around a lot. And my freshman year of college while I was in California, then I converted. Um, and then my sophomore year of college ended up transferring to BYU. What, so what was it, what, what is it about the, you weren't necessarily, we, we talked about it yesterday, you weren't necessarily overly religious growing up. You were just kind of a normal upbringing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh. Both your parents, they're mixed. Yep. You didn't go to church. And then what was it about the Mormon church that brought you in? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of it was, you know, the values of the church. And, you know, I'd always believed in God and had different questions. And I think, you know, what I was looking for was really aligned to, you know, this church. And, you know, I, I think it brought me closer to my family. I felt like I was already close to my family, but this church is very focused on family values and, you know, and then being there for one another. So I think just some of the culture and the family, you know, aspect of it as well was really intriguing. Um, and then of course, you know, with the doctrine too, it, it, I, it, so it sat well with me and, you know, I've, I've been a Mormon now for, it's been 11 years. So Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want to try and sell Mariano on this? I don't know. He'd, ha- he's, he'd have to give up a few things. Like, whoa, no whoa, wait, wait, what? whoa, 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 I'm out. I'm yeah, you got to. He can't pass up the Henny. Yeah, I was about to say, no Henny for you. Oh, so you can't drink? No. Yeah. No drinking. Look, man, listen, I'm, 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 I'm in. I was I'm there, in. and then now. What else yeah, do you have I'm, to give up? Um, let's see. So no drinking, no coffee or tea, oh. um, no drugs. So, I mean, as far as, yeah, I mean, it's, oh my it's, God, it's called the word of wisdom. Down. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe so you listen to those shows. It's like living clean. I can't believe you listen to those distributed. It's Lisa, her guilty pleasure. Lisa, I can't believe you're allowed to listen to the mailbag, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, coffee to me would be so much more acceptable than this show, honestly. You know, I'm just adding some diversity to the pod. This is a Some loophole. additional diversity. You have found a loophole, Lisa. I love it. I have. <laughs> So, are you, you guys allowed to eat meat, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just wondering, because it was like, you know, yeah, clean it's living, of, straight edge, and a lot of, like, veganism goes in with that. Yeah, and I think the mo- like the main idea behind it is, you know, we feel really strongly that we should be in control of our thoughts and our body, and so if we're intaking substances that, you know, can hinder that, then that's what we want to avoid. I think Anthony respected. Mays is going to meet God this afternoon. Anthony, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely going to high five Jesus. <laughs> Anthony Mays is in Park. the desert, Lisa. He's in the desert doing the Jim oh, wow. Morrison thing. He's out there looking for the doors of perception, if you know what I mean. I can't believe he didn't take me. I'm All so right. mad. Jade, are we going to get a, a goddamn it Mays? God damn it, Mays. <laughs> there we go. For, for not taking Eden. <laughs> it's great. Seriously. That was great. Um, oh, sorry about that, Lisa. I didn't mean to say that. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. You're going to be apologizing all show. Lisa, uh, <laughs> do you have a question for the panel? I do. I have a question. And if that doesn't work, I have a backup. Um, all right. So my Prepare. first question is, if you could track any stat in the NBA, any random stat, what would it be? So, for example, you know, Joel Embiid eating a hamburger before every game. How does that impact the 76ers win percentage? <laughs> so what Actually, would that's you it. That's, that's randomly the one. track throughout his season? season? <laughs> mm, I would say sweat wipes. Like, you know how many times uh, you get sweat on your hands and wipe? Like, try to clean your hands. That's kind of random. But that's like a Hooper tendency. Um, I would want to know who lifts up their shorts the most when crouching down on defense. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> my my JV coach killed me every time I did that. Why? Because everybody blow by you? Yeah, because he's like, why are you wasting time pulling up your shorts when they're just going to blow by you anyway? It doesn't <laughs> it's like help. Duke, that's like that's like Duke slapping the floor in a uh, zone. In the zone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that had me hot. I'm not even going to lie. I was pretty fed Damn. up with that. I think I would want to know. I think I would want to know how many 
like 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 when player had great games, you know, whatever. How many of those games did they listen to like Jay Z before the game or something? Yeah. Oh. How many? How many times? Like, 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 like when a record was broken, what would you listen to before the game? I, w- I wonder. I wonder how many times Jay Z would pop up on that list. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I would want to just know what every single accessory, like leg sleeve, arm sleeve, headband, um, what each player is wearing. I don't know why. I'm really interested in stuff like that. Oh yeah. No, I, I feel like that's a good New York Times feature. Yeah, uh, like compression leggings, one leg, both legs. Mm. I'd want to know edible, smoke, or liquid. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Jade staying on brand. Uh, dude, I feel so bad for Markel Fultz. The guy just got over the yips. Got on. I feel a, bad for Jersey. He had a great game. And then he takes out Joel and face. with the shoulder that he injured. This is what I've been told. No, it was a head to head. I think the initial. And the initial story was that he hit him with the shoulder, but I think it was a head to head. Let's thing. go with the shoulder, Tom. Forget the head to head thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, it's, it's too good. He's I done. mean, if you, if you want to keep it going, I mean, I think if his confidence was hurt, then it was his head that was the problem. Right, Jade? So you could say that he had a. Okay, fine. <laughs> you know, it was a problematic shoulder. He, okay, fine. But yeah, that poor guy. Poor Seriously, guy. And no. Joel, and like, in all honesty, that sucks. Sorry, the yeah. jerks, man. Jerk, hold your head, G. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, so Lisa. Yes. What else can we talk about? Well, well, um, I guess I can ask my backup question. Oh, yeah. um, how far is too far when it comes to trolling? Um, you know, for example. Well, here in Utah, you know, I like the Utah Jazz, but first and foremost, I'm a Lakers fan, and they're rolling in on Tuesday, and I'm a little petty, so I ordered off of eBay a Carl Malone Lakers jersey okay. to show up to the game, the Jazz game at. Did you order so, your tickets on SeatGeek? Just one. Promo code um, B2B. So, yes, it was SeatGeek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, but <laughs> um, but I yeah so I ordered a thirteen dollar Carl Malone Lakers jersey to wear to the Jazz Lakers game on Tuesday. So I'm just curious, you know, what are some of the best trolls that you've seen, or how far is too far? Somebody gonna pour Coca Cola on your jersey? I know. Well, at least <laughs> it was thirteen bucks, and Malone wasn't there very long, so it's all right. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that that's actually pretty good. I like that. Um, I mean. Usually when I go to the game, well, it's different for me because like when I go to the Hawks games, I'm a Bulls fan. Like uh-huh. I'm actually a fan of my, the team that I like. The Hawks don't actually have fans. This is not even slander. This is just real life. <laughs> right. Those people do not root for the Hawks. So like what I do could be considered <laughs> like trolling or whatever. But I get up and root for my team when they make big plays. Like right. you know, and I'm probably and I, yeah, I probably got alcohol in me. I might be loud. So what? Like I'm at the game. It is what it is. But I, I, I don't go too far, and I'm not like screaming in people's faces and all that. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think if you're at a game, going too far is like if I'm coming in your role and I'm getting loud with you directly or something. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. man, if I'm doing it right there and I'm having a good time, I mean, it's all good. I do like that, though. Get, getting the Carl Malone Lakers jersey, going to that game, I, I like that. Well, perfect. Anybody else? I'm not necessarily a troller in real life. I'm not a troller in real life. Only on this show do I troll. <laughs> Um, maybe maybe a lover, not a troller. Maybe yeah. I troll my wife. I probably troll my wife somehow. I'd have to think about it. What you things said I do. somehow? I, I bet she wouldn't have to think about it as long. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if you heard the songs I sing, I sing man. some good ones. We uh, need to have a karaoke off between you and Tom. I uh, kill him. I uh, kill Tom. <laughs> yeah. I will say because of Tom, I frequently have return of. Max stuck in my head at least the You're last welcome. week or you so. You are welcome. <laughs> it actually has been added to my gym playlist again, so thanks for that. <laughs> the Tom version, right? So I've helped you lose of weight or get more toned. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. You know what? Muscle, right. just bringing it on because. because you're Tom. welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lisa, enjoy the gym today. I know you're going there. Enjoy Utah. Yes. Thank you so much Enjoy for being a fan. Off. Thank Have you for fun. being a Patreon. Of course. Thank uh, you, guys. And then uh, look forward to the next time you come on to the show. And, Sounds good to me. And that's that's it. Have a nice day. All right, Lisa. All right. All right. Bye, Lisa. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. I need you to Bye. hang up. 
Wait, actually, I don't, okay, I figured it out. Okay, bye. <laughs> Later. So I'm gonna let him come on because we need we need some bodies because Waz ain't here, Jake. Yep. Jade is getting way better at this film time thing. Like he's What's doing up, a good guys? job today. He did What's going 20, on, 20 dings from Waz, please, just off the <laughs> off the top. For a no no call for a DMP. For no a show? no show. Not even uh, let me know. That's... Waz a DMP? No. That's impossible. Yeah, no, <laughs> seriously. We should just call it a Waz, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DMP was. D- yeah, that's that's a new one. DMP was. I feel like, I that. feel like he's still. Uh, I feel like he's still coasting off the wa- off was week uh, from uh, <laughs> like the years. week of was. It was two years <laughs> ago. Yeah. By the way, was uh, yeah. Harper says had to bounce for a bit. I'll be back. Too back. Oh Too my back. <laughs> god! Oh my god! Did no. duck, <laughs> did duck Wait, five me. from Harper for that, please. I'll give yeah, him one right. though. I'll give him one for it, and then what you up, take Jake? five back. Nothing much, Mari. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good, brother. Good to hear from you. Uh, anyway, Eden, you want to shout to the solid dudes, man? Are you gonna stick around, Jake? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. What's your connection like? It's a little iffy right now. Uh, it usually is okay. Give me a second. Are, are, are you on your mic or phone? Um, uh, I'm on my computer at the moment. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, I'll see if I can do something back. Give me a second. You coming back? You getting off and jumping back on? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to hang up and then reset my internet. So I just wanted to hit this, this Tyler Hankerson story quickly. Tyrone Hankerson. What's the story? Uh, you haven't followed the Tyrone Hankerson Story, I Eden? can't say that I have. Uh, a, a, he was a, um, a Howard University financial aid uh, worker. Oh, that stole like all that financial aid? Uh, allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. So we're being right. told. I mean, does the name Ty- Tyrone Hankerson not give it away right off the bat? Does the, fam, the name Tyrone, <laughs> like not even, you don't even need the last name, just Tyrone. It's like, yeah. Hankerson I, sounds like a made up last have name. We, have we seen a video of this guy? Maybe, listen, I'm, I'm not going to jump to conclusions, but I am. We are, we are facing a huge, this is my theory. This is my, my rabbit hole theory. Wait, Jay, did you just say I'm not going to jump into conclusions, but I am? But, <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> but this country is facing a huge student loan collapse, and it's going to happen very, very soon. It's just yeah. not sustainable. The amount of money that people owe, very young people owe. Like I had a friend at ESPN who was literally like 22 years old, 23 years old. He had $200,000 in college debt. And I was like, are you <laughs> kidding me? Like, that's insanity. And then he's just he, he's not uncommon, right? So no, what, I know what cons- so many people. What concerns me about this so Tyrone Hankerson story is they're prepping us, they're priming us to blame people in financial aid offices for oh. this for this gigantic collapse which is about to happen. In which, Yo, by this the is way, actually a good take. By the way, we'll have to bail out again. It'll be taxpayers that will have to bail this thing out that was set up. Generally, if you probably go through the details of it. It's connected with the government somehow, right? I mean, all these uh, right, these different types of loans that, whatever. But here's the prepping. They're they're coming up with these yeah, the, these stories like Tyrone Hankerson Jr. I need to see a video of this guy. <laughs> oh, he no, you got you you didn't see the photos of him. I saw the photos, dude. The photos that are man insane. Had legit photo shoots, like they're insane. It, it, it's it's like yeah. You know the idea, like the bigger the lie is, the more people believe it. This is what this is to me. Like it's like 
this can't be made up. This guy jumping through the streets in his fur coat or whatever. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. He just has like photo shoot pictures ready for the press anyway, releases. I noticed that whenever I come up with a conspiracy, I bring on Jake. He's the worst guy to bring on when I'm shooting these theories. Well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a good, uh, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty skeptical of conspiracy theories usually. I guess, well, I guess the thing I would say is I think that you're right about there is going to be a student loan collapse, but I yeah. think, uh, I think, I don't think there's anything anyone can do that would make young people not blame uh, rich corporations and the government for it. Like, because I know a ton of people with student debt, and they all are 100 percent sure of who they're angry about about it. So the, the thing I, I was looking, I just saw Jesus and Mero still yeah. paying off student loans? Question mark. Blame Tyrone the scammer and his IG. So it's like, like I'm not going after Jesus and Mero here, but that kind of notion, that that idea, is what I'm concerned about. Right? Yeah. So. It, is this possible? What this guy did? Come on! I missed the American way. What you mean? Four hundred thousand dollars? How did this get through the IRS? How did the no, IRS he was not pick up on this? Scholarships. He wasn't just taking it. But this is cash transactions, though, right? Um, I'm not. I think. I think. Well, also, here's I, the thing: is he got caught, so he clearly wasn't doing it right. <laughs> How did he get caught? That's a good question. Dude, these Probably pictures. because he left a paper trail working with all this money. I mean, when you out here rocking Gucci outfits and fur coats and all That's this other true, shit. That's true, the outfit. And they look at you and say, wait a minute, you work where and you rocking Gucci head to toe? All right, man. It's, you don't got a mixtape out. You ain't on a feature or nothing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you ain't on a feature. Having seen Goodfellas, I know that the thing that always gets the Irish attention is once you get the fur. <laughs> hey, you know, you know the funniest exactly. thing. The funniest thing about that scene is uh, is is the way that he do, Robert De Niro killed that role because he said, "Bring, I don't care, bring it back." Like he maybe was telling him to take it back, oh, but he kept saying, "Bring so it back." Good. I love that part. That is a great scene. What'd you say? Are what you being a fucking saying? wise guy with me? Huh? I'm sorry. What did I tell you? I what did I tell you? What did I tell you? You don't buy anything. You hear me? Don't buy anything. Oh man. Anyway, Jake, how is uh? I saw in the in, oh. By the way, can we get some of the solid dudes to get into the Discord channels? By the way, uh, I was gonna. I was actually gonna work on that today. Um, I need that. Yeah, I, I, uh, I need that solid. Not that I don't want to take away the the. By the way, I mean, how big is that chat now? The thing don't, is popping I'll all day long. Yo, now. also, also while we're talking about the solid dudes, I want to give a congratulations to Edith for advancing to the championship in our basketball, uh, our fancy basketball league. Um, we had a great matchup. Like it was the closest matchup. It was over so two close. Weeks. Yeah. Like every like every other day, one of us was up by like hundred points. I think I ended up losing by like maybe like seventy or something or eighty. So yeah, it was within hundred points. It was such and a I'm, good game. I'm rooting for her to win the whole thing now. Who are you playing? I'm in good position too. Trey Zingas? Yep. Yeah, he Trey Zingas, your ass is going down. I pretty much threw my <laughs> matchup. Uh, I got too busy. I, and pro- what happened with me was I lost to Marcus Cousins. I was on my way yeah. to winning this this league. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm not going to I was going to win. I went one and one against Jay this season because uh, Boogie, he has LeBron. Like he has a, His team is crazy on the low, and he was scoring yeah. a bunch of points. And when Boogie went down, it was, it was like, okay, yeah. But, but I'm playing you right now, like in a little consolation thing. I didn't even know they had that. But like me and you playing against each other right now. I uh, think well, my only L's this season were to you and Jade mm, and Trey. Okay. Yeah. So I really have to get this win. And Jade, it's okay you didn't make it to the finals because I want to beat Trey, not you. So. Um, I'm rooting for you, Eden. Yes, 100%. Um, Sorry, Trey. <laughs> so, Eden, do you have a question? I sure do. From Jay Wallace <laughs> at KVUEJ Wallace. <laughs> Who would last the longest on a Friday mailbag without saying the word or words? For Jade, the words are anyway slash Frisco. Oh, I already said both. For for Zach, it's oh, and what are we doing here? <laughs> Trey is listen. Tom is something about Vince Carter. Waz, relax. For Eden, it's like slash alcohol. Um, Valerie, okay, you just said both or of guys. Those. Yeah, I... Okay, thanks, Jade. <laughs> and, uh, for Boogie, he just has woof. So I say we turn this into a drinking game. Yes. And Damn. see who drops first. I would, I would say that I would bet on Tom with the Vince Carter thing because yeah. it's a little uncommon. I mean, it's not uncommon, but 
Yeah, the uh, rest of that stuff is happening like in like I three minutes of the pod. Tom going into falsetto might be a better choice there. Or breaking mm-hmm. into song. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I saw someone commented about Tom bringing up Ish Smith also. So. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. That's a good one. Anyway, yeah. in Frisco for me. That's I'm done. I'm never gonna make it out of a show without yeah. those two things. Well, yeah. Like that's, is my biggest crutch word ever. That's how I know when Jade is either gonna ask the uh, the guest. Do they have a question, or he's going to get them out of here when he says anyway? Any, like, anyway, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So I was on the Discord this morning, and you can do I get, you can do these uh, voice channels. So you can basically do a conference call, and so I set one up just to see how you know how it would work, and and it was like four or five of us talking, and I'm I realized that I'm doing the podcast in this channel. I'm doing it anyway, guys. You know, I'm asking people where they're from. That's oh, terrible. I can't not be a on the show with uh, with these with these folks, I'll try to be more myself. Okay, uh, if you do go to the Discord, count the dings channel, you'll find some great channels. Leverage the chat, uh, black to black. Uh, it's got a different name in here. Basketball buds, hoops, nerd brigades. A channel, <laughs> Tom. Ask Waz, Zaz, and Eden. There's a conspiracy channel for you, Jake. Nice. If you want to get those, if you want to get those Zuckerman Zuckerberg, not Zuckerman Zuckerberg crisis actor takes off, you do it right there. And that Bossa Nova channel mm-hmm. for um, very very sensitive material. Let's see what happens. Is the Bossa Nova there. channel just like nothing? Uh, no, <laughs> I have it's there's, all Bossa Nova. There's some, criti- there's some critical information in there right now. Uh, Is there a password to get in? No, no. There's a picture of Pablo eating a bagel. <laughs> Oh, oh. Big little Pablo. man, that picture is the greatest, yo. I, 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 I actually, my favorite was when Kaylee I, dressed up as Bagel Pablo for Halloween. Oh, oh that was wonderful. I actually so have that. I re, I have that photo saved on my phone, but I ended up actually like resaving it because it got far enough back in my photos that it didn't come up on like the suggested photos right. for Twitter, and I'm like, this is taking too long. I gotta save it again. Damn, that picture, Just, man. In case yo. I need to use it. That picture is like the happiest I've seen anybody about anything ever. And you can it's use great. it in so many situations. Oh, I wish I and was Pablo that was happy. like super nice when we met him when I met him up there at the live show. Like he's great. I oh, wish oh, I was sure. that happy. That'd be nice. Um just kidding, guys. I'm very happy. Expecting my third child. <laughs> Coming in, in June. June. Yes. Right. Coming in June. What other news was out there that I wanted to hit? Anything out there that caught your eye, Jake? Uh, did you see that? Uh, I assume you guys, I don't know if you, you did, but you see that uh, apparently Arnold Schwarzenegger just had open heart surgery? Ooh. Damn. Oh, wow. Damn. Yeah, apparently he's in stable condition, but uh, I just saw, I, I just, uh, was it an I got a, yeah, oh, oh yeah, 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 it wasn't playing. Uh, that I uh, got a text that was completely irresponsible from my old brother that just said, yo, Schwarzenegger might die, which is not, you know, uh, the best way to hear that news. But, yeah, so I, I, you don't realize he's 70 years old. So, like, it's not super – like, 70 and been using steroids for, like, 50 consecutive years, you know. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that Jake just made me laugh with this shit. Uh, it looks like he's still doing them, you know. <laughs> yeah. Looks like oh, he shit. is still doing him. Uh let me just uh, <laughs> run a roll call here. Did we lose Tom? He said he'd be right back. Oh yeah. He must be singing to his daughter. Boy, we got a real skeleton crew. That's here. beautiful, man. Got a real skeleton crew. Uh, when I sing okay, that, like my daughter this. my daughter loves to sing, but like if I sing, she'll try to get me to be quiet. Like we had so look, this is the funny thing. We had a conversation yesterday. My daughter's three. So I, I mm-hmm. said yes, ma'am, to her, right? And mm-hmm. then she was like, so she asked me, like, basically, what was the boy version of that? Because she was like, so what do boys say? And I said, well, if you said it to me, then you would say yes, sir. And I said yes, ma'am, to you. And she was like, um, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, okay, you got it. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not sure about that logic. <laughs> she does that all the time. <laughs> like, she'll ask a question, and you break it down, and she'll just tell you it doesn't make sense. Like, she, I think she gets a kick out of doing that. <laughs> like, for real. Uh, I love it when you tweet about it because it's so cute. She is wild. Man. Uh, who's playing Fortnite? Anybody playing Fortnite? Who wants to squat up on Fortnite? Hashtag Ask Was. I've seen this being played. It looks interesting, but I just yeah. don't have the time to be a gamer. 
I'll, I'll yeah. probably do it. I, I, I do have the time to be a gamer. I'm just too lazy to do it. <laughs> that's, that's pretty honest. I haven't got into it. I mean, I've seen it, like you said, and it looks interesting. A couple of the homies asked me about it. I just haven't. I just haven't done it yet. Like I'm, too, I'm, I'm probably too busy like taking a nap or something, man. Like to be honest. Yeah, I hung up. I retired my controllers after 2K14 because I was just spending too much time on Xbox. <laughs> I think I'm done with 2K. Also, like that game is so cheesy and just like glitchy right now. Like it's you don't even have to know how to play, but you just have to know how to play 2K. If you know how to play NBA 2K, you can win. It's, you, it's not even about basketball no more. Like, I, yeah. Jeez, it was, like, was really good from, like, 2010 to, like, 2014. Yeah, well, I think I think, yeah, the, I think the best one of this era is the one where they had the Jordan challenges. I think that might have been 2K11 or 12. Or something yeah, it like was, that. like, 11 or 12. That was definitely. That was good. That was really yeah. good. But, yeah, I'm, and I think I'm off that. I won't lie. I think the last thing I played was uh, Wii Bowling. Yeah. <laughs> Wii Bowling? <laughs> Which I still have in my basement. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm ready to bring it up for... Uh, I think the kids are just about ready yeah, for it. Yeah, time to introduce the kids yeah. to it. You know, perfect well, age. Was fun. Perfect age, even though my daughter really obsessed with saying hate right now. She's very indeed. Have you gone through this, Mariana? I saying hate, hate? Yes, I hate you. Oh, yeah. Dada. You know what? Nah, Um. you know what it is with her? She'll, she'll go, she'll, she'll like walk away. And, and be like on some like, I'm not your friend type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. like that. that's what she was into for a minute. Yeah. But she don't like when you do it to her. Like, if you do it to her, she'll be like, all right, like, I, like all right, are we friends now? Like, like, she gets to tell you that we're friends if you tell her we're not friends. But oh, you yeah. Can't do that oh, my daughter's, <laughs> my daughter's a deal maker now. She likes to make yeah. deals, you know? Yeah. So if, if at, you know, like at, at night, sometimes I let her watch uh, YouTube in her bed, which is her favorite thing. Mm hmm. Uh, for like 10 minutes before she goes. Because basically it becomes this thing where you have to do all these things, go to the bathroom, brush your teeth. Right. And, and honestly, I use I use the computer YouTube as a, you know, I make the deal because it makes things easier, right? Right. And, uh, but, you know, once I take the, <laughs> the <laughs> when I take the, the computer away, uh, my daughter will be like, well... I'm not gonna, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that's, gonna love you anymore, Dada. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's, defiant that's just, stage. <laughs> that's just how it is. Yo, that's just how it is, man. Like, listen, until we got Gambit, I was in the house with it's my wife, it's my two daughters, and it's two cats, and they're all girls. Yeah. Until I got Gambit, so like now, that's the homie. But still, it's like he can't talk. So it's like, damn, baby. Like I'm really still out here on the island. Like they just <laughs> they run the house, man. I think I've heard him talk, Mariana. I think I've heard Allegedly. him talk. <laughs> uh, he'll, be, right. he'll be back soon too, man. Can hey. I uh bring up a question I just saw on uh Twitter? Please. That, uh Fanifesto at Ryan McChin tweets, Do people <laughs> actually eat peeps? Or do we all just squish them around at the store and keep moving? I'm just gonna say it. I like peeps, and I see people have been slandering them recently. God that's fine. It's it, that's because they're disgusting. I like peeps. I'm, just, you know, dude. Yeah. You kidding me? He's from no. Florida. Do you really eat them? I mean, not like super often, but like if I have them, I'm yeah, I'm not, I, I eat them. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. The, f the fact that you said if you have them, I would, I would not. It'd be no situation where I would even have them. That's crazy, man. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I haven't <laughs> had them recently, but growing up, my mom and dad would get us like, you know, buy some for Easter. Yeah, I'd eat them. I mean, it's oh. just a marshmallow, honestly. Yeah, you know, it's like if they're peeps in front sugar. of me, I'll just keep walking past them, and I always stop for candy. <laughs> my daughter eats that's marshmallows. That's fine. That's your that's your prerogative. But I'm just saying that there are some people who eat peeps. And one of those people is me. Hey. Okay, well, the addendum to that question was, what's the best Easter candy? Uh -huh. And yeah, I have nice. the most important candy take ever. Okay. And it is that Reese's Miniature Cups have the perfect ratio of peanut butter and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mini cups, not the not the regular ones. Okay. Speak of Easter specific, I think that the uh, Reese's egg is uh, great. Um, the Cadbury? Shout out to... Uh, no, the Reese's one. It's like a Cadbury egg. Oh, the Reese's, okay. It has peanut butter inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chef Angie Treasure, who uh, has had that for and a Diet Coke for a meal more than once. Um, but yeah, that that's those are so those are great. I mean, there's a little too much peanut butter, but I love those. Yeah, they have the mini eggs that have the perfect ratio, but yeah, it works. 
You guys are too young to really have gone through uh, in your 30. I mean, the yeah, evolution of Easter candy. Uh, when the Cadbury egg hit, I was completely revolutionary. You know, I can't remember exactly when it hit, but when it did, it was like this. This can't be true. This, you know, with the the, the artfulness of that product too, with the with the actual yolk, the yellow uh, yolk inside of it, and yeah, it, it's extremely. If you get those very very fresh, it's it's kind of an amazing experience. Uh, at one point, you could only get them during Easter. Now you can find them all throughout the year, right? Yeah. Um, but they were but just, mostly during Easter. They were an exclusive uh, type of experience. Um, we lost Mariano. Wow. We are. I mean, we're, we're just who, gonna, who are some people who are around? But I'm back. Uh, hey, Tom's uh, back. Oh. oh, Tom is back to save the day because I was about to choke under pressure of having to carry. This is hilarious. Did you guys get the question yet of... Uh, whether ice cream is just frozen soup. Yeah, I was going to wait for Zach to come back for that one. <laughs> Tom, do you remember uh, when, do like, you, are you old enough to remember when the Cadbury egg came onto the scene? Me and Tom are the same age. Yeah, I, I just didn't know oh, it was okay. not on the scene. It's just been on the scene since I was alive. I'm pretty much, it just, yeah, right? It's just, you were born into it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it it's was, just like oxygen in the blue sky. Like when grass. I was a kid, there was only jelly beans, man. That was it. There was no all of these custom and and, and a, a jelly beans and a chocolate rabbit. That's what it was. That's it. Chocolate rabbit was big when I was a kid. I like one of my first vivid memories as a kid, along with the Sports Center and Greg Maddox thing. By was the, the hollow chocolate rabbit though? I'm out. <laughs> the on. hollow chocolate rabbit. I'm out on Which that. Ne- I'm out on the hollow it's, one. It, yeah, it's kind of like a lie, you know. Yes, it's a complete it's like lie. Taunting you with chocolate, and then inside it's just air. Did you know that dark chocolate is actually not any better for you than like regular chocolate? Thank God. I heard it was. Wait, is that – I thought dark chocolate just had like more actual chocolate compared to milk. I have heard More that, cacao. I've heard it's yeah, cacao, very, cacao, very good for your cacao. blood pressure, Tom. Yo, I think all that was just cooked up by big sugar. Hey, he's back. Big sugar. How That's was my it? Nickname. Did you uh, strike a big deal? <laughs> big sugar. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm moving and shaking. Are you counting Working the dings? Am I counting the dings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of dings. Uh, I mean, Jade, I'm right here. Oh. That's what I do. By the way, Jake, someone someone in the chat, in the Discord yesterday said, can we count the dings in here? <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, absolutely not. Yeah, I when people – I've been asked many, many times on Twitter – Whenever like you will like respond to someone with a bell emoji, they'll be like, "Does that count?" And I'm like, "I no. already waste so much time. Go fuck yourself. I'm yeah. not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna refresh your Twitter feed every day." Yes. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that, and I'm that was actually the first thing I saw when I when I said, "Hey," on the Discord, and I'm like, "Damn it, uh, uh, Zach." There's a question guys, for you, by the way. Yeah, uh, we were saving before- it just for you. Okay, we'll we'll get to that. Um, but I just – have you guys seen what Sister Jean is doing? Yeah. I've not even paid any attention to this thing. What is she doing? She says that uh, – she was asked today whether God is a basketball fan and she said, quote, he probably is and he probably is more of an, the NCAA than the NBA. You know what, Sister Ooh. Jean? Ooh. You know what? I'm going to give I'm Sister gonna, uh, Jean. I'm going to give Sister Big Jean. Big Sister Jean. <laughs> I know Sister Jean has this been girl. Like, has been attacked by Stugatz and uh, you know and I and I'll ride with Stugatz on just about anything. Uh, but Sister Jean gets a pass for me because she did survive the Titanic. And so I think if you survive the Titanic, <laughs> you know, you you get a little bit of a pass. Uh, he... Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, my son is obsessed with the Titanic. I've mentioned it before on the show. We came across this amazing toy you can you can get for your like bathtub. And it's the Titanic. And basically what it does is, you know, you put it on the water and then as over time it brings on water and then it starts to sink and then it breaks in half. <laughs> what? It is the A coolest. morbid toy. Oh my God. Oh, I would totally. Me, we're getting this. We are getting it. 
Um, yeah, I haven't it's like followed a David, the... It's like a David Carradine action figure that hangs himself while, you know. Jesus. Never God. mind. Oh, my God. Oh, what? How is, that any, how is that any different? <laughs> because nobody was on the Titanic, Zach. God, through Nobody? This. Zero Ooh. people. Wow. Sister Jane. Oh, wait. It's, J- Jade, Jade, I'm not saying that there were a lot of people on the Titanic, but let me just say, I think that your theory that because they didn't have enough lifeboats means that there weren't, uh-huh. it was insurance fraud. I'm not saying that that's not the case, but to say that like in 1912, they would have been responsible enough and not just been like, nah, cut the lifeboats in half. We can fit more people and make more money <laughs> like that. I feel like also true is. Yeah. 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 Like, I got gotcha. you. I was just, I just, I was just noticing because I was just thinking about it because um, there's a building on NYU's campus called the Green Building, which used to be – which is the site of the uh, Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire, which uh-huh. was saying in like 1911 yep. when like 100 women died because they locked them into their building yes. because they were mad at them for taking breaks. And that was like a year before the Titanic and I had the thought of like, oh, wait, yeah, they still didn't care about human life back then. The- right. I'm so, not completely out so of that basically, I'm, not, I'm not sold we care about it now as a culture. That's yeah, true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, you got a good interesting point there. Also, but I'll hold cut on, Jake. That, that's, that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> with, that, with that story, you so can we just like, would it be quicker to name moments in history where we didn't have a fire before 1920? That's true. I feel like there were a lot of fires back then. They just didn't have water anywhere, no buckets of water anywhere, no wells. <laughs> Yeah, that's and, dumb. And there's, you know, I feel like there's just open fires everywhere, and everything was flammable. Yeah, um, and people just throwing Molotov cocktails everywhere. Didn't I mean, like California? <laughs> didn't your state just get engulfed by flames for the past two months? Yo, do you know well, there's yeah, a conspiracy that's what, that's what theory do, on Tom, that? Because the takes are too hot. There is a conspiracy <laughs> theory out there on that one too. There's a conspiracy theory on the fires. On the fires, yeah. Okay, that let's hear what? it. What insurance? Uh, no, no, it was, uh, I, don't, I haven't gone through the actual why of it, but basically they were being created by these, um, uh, high energy machines or whatever, like maybe like harp people have heard of harp. That's a big one in the conspiracy channels. Um, I, I, I looked through it and, and one of the people that I kind of am interested in is debunked it. So. Uh, it was like had to do with how trees like pe- people were taking videos of uh, like p- the burning, okay. Mov- the fires. Moving along, moving along. What are you talking about? Why uh, are we moving along? Because you you had – there was a theory out there. It's sketchy. It's been debunked. What's worth talking about? It's just interesting. It's like the, the fact that there's you know conversation about it. Just because something's been I'm debunked, that Tom, Zach should doesn't name an mean extra, it's been an debunked. Also, also in Harper. Also, Zach also – Harper. <laughs> also, Who's gonna? Someone's gonna debunk the debunking. By the way, yes, yeah, exactly. The uh, that's all science is. Hey, let me just say that the MythBusters tried to do the moon thing. Okay, they tried oh, to prove okay. it was that we actually landed on the moon. Okay, MythBusters. Yo, Jane, I'm healthy. I want a conspiracy that every time I buy a new shirt, you guys change names. Literally, I bought it, and the next day, I found out that you guys weren't putting out pods. That you start same thing with true hope. conspiracy. Just frozen soup? Uh, is ice cream frozen soup? You know, uh, once you drop a gummy bear in there, or a Reese's Pieces, or any kind of content outside of the ice cream, yes, then it's immediately soup. Wait, 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 wait. So, like, cookie dough ice cream is? Oh, that's soup, for sure. But just vanilla ice cream is not? Drop, drop one gummy bear in there, and you got. Yeah, it's, it's broth. It's like is what he's saying. But like a, a tomato, a tomato bisque is a soup, but it doesn't have any chunks in it.
So why wouldn't it therefore be frozen oh, soup, not, a vanilla bean soup? That's not true, though. Tomato, tomato does have stuff in there. You can throw some parsley in there. You can throw some kind of herb or, just or all blended garnish together. or crouton. Yeah, it's just all put together, Tom. Yeah. But yeah, but a but but a vanilla, a vanilla, but vanilla ice cream is vanilla bean extract, vanilla bean and cream, and it's not just cream. So would that not be the same thing? No, it's not the same thing because they're all because you need you need one little bit of content in there to 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 create the soup environment. I'm not I'm not convinced that just straight up tomato soup is is soup. It's pre soup. <laughs> now, Zach, you've, I assume you've seen the uh, the Talk Soups Twitter account. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, and and if you follow it, mm-hmm. I may block you. That's because it is it's a it's real creepy. There's also a it, this is me speaking for just myself and not for her, but there's also an Angie's Burner account that I'm pretty sure just wants to wear her skin. Whoa! This like is it, it comes off as a, comes off comes off as a serial killer. So like I, uh, you know, just co- I would say in general, cool it with the uh, quote unquote parody accounts that aren't parody at all are just creepy. Yep. Someone, someone like uh, I think it might have been uh, Trey Trey Zingas tweeted out with like, "Come on, Zach, what are you doing?" And I'm like, Zach does some like stuff that's I think is stupid, but. He's not, he's not making his own <laughs> freaky account. Um, also, I am so like I had during the All Star Weekend. I had to manage two accounts. I had to manage like uh, you know my account and then the fan rag account, the fan rag hoops account, and that was a nightmare. So me doing more than anything on uh, you know on one account is, is like I, I would not create a second account in order to to have fun on Twitter. I'll just tweet all the stupid stuff from my own account. Who's at like a basketball game? Why do I hear like a horn going off? There's a horn near me. Oh, it's, sounds like the people are being checked you in say and out of the game. You're around. <laughs> would you say you're around the horn? <laughs> Yo, you know what, Tom? I would not. Wait. So, have you, <laughs> uh, where do we fall in the ice cream being a soup? Because Pee Wee Herman had did it many, many years ago, and I followed it. Uh-uh. I used to do this. As a did kid. you follow everything Pee Wee did? No, that could get Jesus problematic. God, yes, it could. That that would does. Hey, Jake, have you done Pee Wee Herman for uh, yeah, for episode Sword? four? Episode okay. four. All right. But I'm I saying like the out, whole but... letting the ice cream melt and then you stir it and all that kind of stuff, then you eat it as a soup. No, I I didn't do that. I used to do um, and I haven't done it in forever. But with like straight up vanilla ice cream, if you like let it melt a little bit and like stir it really really fast, you can get it's the consistency of soft serve. But uh, I never let it go all the way. Uh, anyway, guys, can yeah. I can, can I ask the trivia question that I originally uh, messaged you about? Please. All right. Because so I remember last week you guys were talking about names for your third child, and you said you if it was a girl you might name her Jade, and that made me think: What two NBA players have daughters that they named after themselves? Oh, this is a, a true thing. Yes. George, okay. George Foreman. Uh, <laughs> NBA yes, players. Noted, noted NBA active, player George active, Foreman. Active <laughs> NBA players. Uh, have named their kids or daughters after them. Their daughters after themselves. Interesting. Okay. So that's why there's only two of them. Um, like Alex Abrinas. <laughs> No, <laughs> but uh, you're you're on the you're on the, it's the full name. It's I you're on the right. I you have the right idea, but yeah. Oh wait, so like they're a junior, but they're not technically like they don't call them junior because I don't think you can do that with a girl. But yes, they have the exact same first name. Like if I were to name my daughter Jake, that's what it would be like. Okay, so there are a lot of NBA players with um you know asexual names. So yes. I'm gonna go with Avery Bradley. No, uh, Aaron Brooks. Nope. Are they in the league Dylan now? Brooks. Yes, they are. Uh, two of them are in the league. Uh, one of them is. Uh, I mean, I can. I, I'll tell you guys eventually, like in a few seconds, because it's gonna. It's gonna go on for a while. Wait, but I think it's, it's not it's, gonna be. It's, it's not gonna be the rest of the episodes. Us just naming NBA players oh. and you saying no. 
Oh my Dennis. God! Uh, By the way, the Riddler <laughs> called me back. I forgot all about this. What? Are you Batman? Remember the riddle? What? Remember the riddle that we got on the show? Yes. He called me yeah. back. Uh, um. Anyway, keep going. Why does this sound so on. ominous? The answer, guys. Do you want the answer? Because I think it's is it Demar? It's, is it's, it's Demar pretty, Rosen? No, because I think they're pretty interesting. Because it's one of them. One of Courtney them Lee. Good, Courtney Lee. Play. Courtney Lee. No. no that's, a good idea. <laughs> that's a good one. Is it? That's is it Frank Nilakina? No, it is uh, Amon Shumpert and Drew Holiday. Holy shit! Ah, okay. Drew named his daughter Drew. I can see Amon. Yes. Wait. It's yeah, in, I, I, Iman Shumpert Shumpert. I thought you said the full name. She used the full name. Well, yeah, the full no, name would I still be the like, last name. My my point was that because when he originally asked uh, Alex Abrinas, my point was that because Alex Abrinas' full first name is not Alex. That's what my that's what I meant. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. No, well, see, good. we thought you meant like names that could also work as girls' names. Is it Andre Drummond? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. See, I, I only thought about it because Drew Holl- I recently learned that Drew Holiday named his daughter Drew, and I'm like, ah, okay, that's um, because Amon like the- is like Amon is both could go for both, but Drew. Yeah. Well, I don't know Drew Barrymore. I guess. Yeah, you're right. I feel like we're not making female Drews that much anymore, though. No, probably not. Um, what's 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 her Drew short for? Andrea? Andrew? I, I I I think I'll be check. straight up Drew. I mean, there there is a lot of drug use in that family, so you never what's know. What's she up yeah. to? Drew. She's on uh, that Netflix she, show. Yeah, I actually was gonna ask. I, I don't know. I assume you guys already talked to uh, Mama Hoy, but yeah, because I'm probably gonna watch the second season of that uh, this weekend. Uh, actually, Santa, Clarita diet. Santa Clarita diet. I actually haven't yeah, called yeah. my mom yet. I wanted to get to this riddle. Ooh. It's, All right, let's hear it. It's super long, though. Are you ever worried that uh, these riddles are going to lead to a dead body? That's. <laughs> dude, I'm I mean, here for this. I'm so here for this. What's up, back to back crew? Uh, this is Mark out up in my tree. Uh, first up, just to review some of your answers from the last time, the riddle itself is something along the lines of, like, who knows more than Jade about conspiracy theories, or who knows Ma- more than Mama Hoy about a good show on TV? Who knows? More than Harper about Dings Denied. Who knows? More than Black Trey about Torn Menis Guy. Who knows? Et cetera, et cetera. So let's go over some of your answers real quick. Uh, Jade... Uh, answered. I'm confused. What is the? What is this? Which I can respect answering my question with a question. Touche, Jade. Um, but to answer your question of a question, I actually have an answer. And yes, my question is a real question, and there is an answer. Uh, Corn puzzle answer followed that, uh, Jade's comment up with. Did you say your name? <laughs> he said, "Would you say a Hodor?" There's an answer to this. I I don't think so. I don't so, think but... so. Which we now know is. Not true. There is an actual answer. Um, Will from Bahrain and Eden said... I mean, it was just cute to me. And that's, yeah, that's it's just... Yeah. Answer. Which, okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Though you're probably talking about my son, Sydney, And that's why he's not on this call, because I don't want you to be distracted by his cuteness. The Waz had a slightly different take on my son. He said, my son sounds like Hodor. Oh, boy, Sam, this who knows? Good. Yeah, who no, knows? Tell the you, he's us. She, we that, are, that, kid, that kid is doing a Hodor impression. <laughs> From Game of Thrones. <laughs> Which I think Oda's a hero. Spoiler alert. So thank you, Waz. And Zach actually was the closest to a real legit answer by guessing that the answer was us. Like, who knows more about things than I than Zach? Yeah, who knows? Tell the answer you, is us. She, we are that, that kid. Us. Yeah, us kind of makes sense. Unfortunately, it's not the answer I'm looking for. So, and uh, to follow up on Zach's answer, if his answer is us, then who knows more about us than us? But I'll give you a simpler hint. Uh, The hint here is, if you kiss me long enough, you'll cry. And if you are me, you've probably died. What am I? All right. Uh, Good luck. Once again, you can hit me up with a DM if you want more hints. Or maybe I'll just call again. Whatever. Uh, keep doing the good work back to back. Uh, we'll talk to you again. See ya. Jade. 
What, what is going on? Jade. What? That was a two minute long message. Two minutes, yep. 21 seconds. Serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> We have a lot of listeners that are serial killers. You Dude, can't. Well, yeah, that's I'm our brand. Fascinated um, by this. Uh, you can't. Uh, I actually. All right. I, when he first said, "Let's review your answers from last week," I was ready to jump out a window because I thought there is no way this is going to be funny. It was actually funny. So it I'll was give hilarious. That, that the review funny. of the answers. The review of the answers was good. So uh, uh, you can still. We still got to speed it up a little bit there. Um, but uh, but all right. So what was the I. I stopped. I, think, I, I stopped think, I was Zach, starting, I, think I, that, I was, I I was think, sending some text messages towards the end, so I didn't hear the actual. Riddle. I think that the police need all the evidence, so <laughs> <laughs> best to keep everything on the record here. Is there a, is there a certain point where we'll call our listeners serial killers, and one of them will actually get offended and then try to invoke some violence on us? Hold on, or do they, do they take it as a loving compliment? He said, "It's got to be a loving compliment if you listen to the show." He said, I, mean, you, "I love serial killers." I'll give you a simpler hint. He says, uh, "The hint here is, if you kiss me long enough, you'll cry, and if you are me, you probably died. What am I?" What the fuck? I don't even know what's going on here. I gotta be. I gotta be honest, and this is on me. This is not on him. I started sending a text message again <laughs> as you started to play that. I, 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 I still didn't care. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, I know I'm being, a, I'm being a bad, I'm being God. a bad co-host right now. I, I don't know. I mean, it's out there. Play, Someone play I, one more time for me. Play one more time. If you kiss me long enough, you'll cry, and if you are me, you probably died. What am I? Kiss me long enough, you'll cry. If you are me, you're dead or dead. I think he you said it died, died just to make it rhyme. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If it, if it was dad and not dead, then I think the answer is Ethan because he's a new dad. Mm. Well, that's not. Because I think if I kissed if I kissed Ethan long enough, I'd probably cry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm know. sorry, I can't get that visual out of my head. Now. Also, I don't know that Ethan has. Uh, I you know it's been a while since I saw Ethan, but uh, does Ethan have nice lips? Mm, I don't think so. Mm. I, was, I think Ethan has no lips. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's a no lipper. I think he's a no lipper. I'm gonna go find a. I'm gonna find a picture. Um, I don't know. He's got a okay bottom lip. Um, he does. Uh, well, all right, maybe not. Anyways, his, guys. his they're fine. They're not terrible, but they're not good. Um, so you're saying that you might not cry if you kissed him long enough? Uh, I don't know. I also just so it can't I mean, be. Even. I mean, he's he's produced a kid, so he can't be that terrible at kissing, right? I, you I, don't have to be good at kissing to produce a kid. I feel like you got it. I mean, that probably leads up to it in some way. That's true. Yeah. I just don't understand what he's going for. I have no clue. I am baffled at this riddle, and I'm I'm more onto what you're saying, Zach. That I might be stalked and killed at any moment. <laughs> uh, Hello and welcome to a Friday hashtag Asquaz mail bag edition of the back to back pod i'm your host anthony mace coming to you from 1733 miles northwest of frisco on the line to answer your fantastic questions we've got in los angeles the ding king one would think and therefore one was his jokes make dads across the world uncomfortable santa hoops aka saint nicholas cage mariano blanco the one-liner designer zach hollywood harper we also have Club Soda Poppy, the CEO of Do Rags R Us, the Daily Water Drinker. Sleep apnea sent him to Twitter at all hours of the day. He managed to survive Columbia without paying for Schubert. It's Bougie Black Trey. In Arkansas, yes. the group chat enforcer. She skates circles around Jade while listening to Mulan. With a PhD in angles and a tattoo for each of the seven deadly sins is Eden Liu. From an undisclosed location, we have the Prince of Tides, Black Harper, the Do-Rag Cape Crusader, the Monte Messiah. Allegedly, it was Mariano Bivens. In Charlotte, 
Charlotte, North Carolina, the sensei of the sixth string with the voice of an angel from Mars, a former frat boy demon deacon who's Googling iPhones on his Alexa, he's stacking ALS to narrow, making people eat those habaneros, it's handsome Tom Haverstrow, and in Bloomfield, Connecticut, he drinks yogurt and eats weed, the amateur bear watcher, conspiracy consigliere, lord of the dings, number two, only 28, but his mind is old, his wife is the fruit, and he's a nut, it's not a bit, the fertile producer, Jade Hoy. Uh, buying tickets to sports and concerts can be complicated and confusing, but there is a better way to buy with SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the smartest, easiest way to get tickets to every type of live event, people. Whether you are searching for a last-minute deal, planning a night out, or need to find the perfect gift, SeatGeek helps you find the best seats at the best prices, fully guaranteed. There's nothing quite like seeing your favorite team or musician in person, and SeatGeek will help you get you closer to the action for a great value. When you have two kids and three on the way, trust me, people, go out and see those concerts, theater, events, uh, games, whatever, now, because it becomes very difficult when you have children. Uh, I have the SeatGeek app on my phone, and it is by far the easiest way I've found to shop for tickets. I could be anywhere. And with just a few taps, can instantly find seats. I actually just use SeatGeek to buy tickets, too. Well, I haven't bought them yet. Right now, I'm looking for these Wizard of Oz tickets in Hartford coming and they're at a certain price. I'm waiting for them to come down a little bit more. And the, one of the nice features on the app is you can kind of like put in your email. And when they come down a certain percent, percentage, they will ping you. And um, so I'm just waiting for that for to take the kids to the Wizard of Oz at the uh, Bushnell in Hartford. Beautiful theater. Uh, SeatGeek is designed to make your ticket buying experience easier than ever. Saves you time and money by searching multiple ticket sites to compare prices and find amazing deals. To get you the most bang for your buck, it grades every ticket based on value to help you immediately identify the best seats that fit your budget. Uh, every purchase is fully guaranteed. Uh, make it your go-to app for finding the best deals on every type of ticket, sports, concerts, comedy, and theater. Best of all, back-to-back listeners, you get $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase. Just download the app and enter the promo code B2B. That is the number two between two Bs, B2B, uh, for $20 off your first SeatGeek purchase. guest who I almost forgot about um, a long time long time fan of the show coming to us all the way from Syracuse Syracuse New York he's in school Eden you may know this guy who Kent Kent hello Kent Paisley hey. What's going on, Jane? What's, What's happening? Up, hey, how are you, Eden? Uh, Kent, you really do sound like a play-by-play guy. It's hilarious. Uh, I, I appreciate it. He's hopefully just, uh, hopefully, it pans out at some point. I think it'd be great if you just walked around everyday life and did play-by-play as like your, your Kent, thing. Kent, Kent can, you, can you just say this, for, say this line for me? Yeah. That, is the ten, that is the 10th team foul in Syracuse, and now they're in the double bonus. <laughs> <laughs> that is the tenth team foul on Syracuse, and they're now in the double bonus. Yeah, I, think I hear it. Here. I hear it. Yeah, listen, I hear it definitely. Listen, can you can do, we talk can about you do Tiger Baisley from first ten, off? Oh, you want Tiger? Tiger from ten feet? Maybe no, no, no. Let's do it from fifty feet. Oh boy. 50. Whew. Tiger Woods at Augusta, fifty feet for eagle. It's going to break about ten feet to the right. Woods hits it. Breaking left to right, it's tracking. Finds the cut. Tiger Woods from 50 feet three. That was a quick. That was a quick 50 feet. I got. He hammered. Exactly. He hammered. Come on. He hammered it. Come on. I, he hammered it. I think, Kent, Kent, you gotta do a little bit more whispering next time. 
<laughs> All right, noted. I'm gonna I'm gonna jot that down. How the hell I, do they, how do, they do that? Dramatic I pauses. That yeah. is crap. That you have to be so quiet at a golf tournament. They did I mean, what a is, bunch of they do an it, amazing job between what is whispering and what is normal talking. You try to find that range. I mean, but, it makes sense if you're like the on course reporter and you have to whisper when you're around Tiger. <laughs> but yeah, it's total crap when you're like in the booth calling it, like yeah. you're Jim Nance at eighteen. <laughs> like, come on, he can't hear you. <laughs> Um, they can't be heard. No. So golf broadcaster they is really interesting. This? I've been able to they fake sit in this on one. Shit? What? They're faking that. They're calling everything <laughs> off of a TV with 18 in the background. They're not actually looking. They have the broadcast going. They're calling over it. Right. Um, the producer tells them exactly what's about to happen. They say what the producer says. It's really fascinating. Oh, my God. Yeah, weren't the bird noises piped in, too? Oh yeah. yeah, I mean you can't what? you can't have consistent bird noises. What? Are you kidding? It's way, yeah. it's way too much rhythm. They're it's like a 15 the second loop. They're faking the cardinal sounds. Uh, absolutely. Holy it's like a, it's a loop. You and then you you guys get on me for all the stuff that I talk about. How we live Jade, in a world Jade, of smoke Jade, and mirrors. Jade, 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 and this smoke and mirror. Eat, you this is a Jade. golf <laughs> broadcast. Jade, before you go anywhere. <laughs> He's yeah. saying that they're faking bird noises. You're saying they fake the Titanic. The, and the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I got, Same thing. Uh, the list is long. I mean, there, is, there is a gulf there. Jay. Tomato, tomato, Titanic <laughs> bird noises. Yeah, yeah, about right. <laughs> so good. Yo, by the way, I mean, the, 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 the rocket itself to get to the moon just couldn't ha- – I mean, you'd have to be oh. twice the size to have the amount of fuel it would need to get to the trajectory to get to the moon. Please, what, people. What was, your, what was your major at Wesleyan again? Uh, LSD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. Never tried it. Once – History, Tom. Anyway, Kent Paisley. What's up? Uh, you come to us from Syracuse. You are from? The Bay Area. And I am I am team anti-Frisco. That's got to go, Jade. You're going to go in a second, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you can't say team anti-Frisco. You just said it. So I win. Right? That makes sense if you don't think about it. Uh, but you are white, right? Yes. We, so we, yes, know, we, know, we know the battle lines which are drawn in this Frisco debate. If you are a person of <laughs> color, you generally are fine with it. If you're white, you're not. And that's very interesting to me. You know, we know we all know where I am on this. So this has been well established. Uh, so you are at Syracuse studying. Uh, what, what are you studying exactly? I'm studying television, radio, and film with a sports communication emphasis Mm -hmm. um, coming out of the accounting industry. Nice. And you are 24, 25? 25. 25 Recently turned 25. Uh, I think. Uh Uh-oh. Is it me? I'm here. Hey. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hashtag I'm I'm back. Where are you? I'm back. I'm at the airport right now. Yeah. Nice. You know, I almost been on my flight messing around. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm back. We got. Uh, I'm gonna the, work through, the. I'm gonna work the mute button. You right. get through the get through security. <laughs> they give you a pat down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, so I got clear. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, man. So that's been working out for me pretty well, man. To be last minute straggling into airports. Huh. Um, we got Kent Paisley on the line. Our guest. What's going on, Black Train? What's up? What's up? Not too much. What's the uh, deal? I'm out in Syracuse right now. It's I haven't I haven't seen the sun since when Pepperidge Farms remembers. Um, I'm telling you, it's uh, it's brutal out here, and everyone is struggling with uh, Baisley leaving town. I was just going to say, are you in a two three zone right now? I mean, I should be, right? What else should I be doing? <laughs> Uh, oh, so that was the, uh, the, the. So now I know what you mean. That was the tweet in which uh, Amin said, "You might not think this is a big deal, but I'm here to tell you that this is a big fucking deal." Yeah. Right. Uh, first kid to surpass uh, five star commit. Um, sir, going to college to go to the G League. I mean, and a lot of people are like, "Oh, just go overseas because you'll make more money." But a lot of games don't transfer over. You know right. what I mean? Like the style of play. Mm-hmm. Some kids struggle. So um, I think it's a good move. And uh, they can make this a thing. That'll be pretty dope. 
That is very interesting. This is exactly what the G League was trying to do, wasn't it? Yeah. He's good too. Yeah, we're trying. He to, really is. He's we're definitely trying to make it into a uh, into like a minor league thing of how baseball is. Yeah. You know, and if they actually pull that off, then that would be amazing. You yeah, know, they absolutely. could get another up on baseball, too, by actually paying these players. I don't know if you saw on the omnibus oh, bill, man. but that That's they included crazy. a minor league baseball part in that as well, that these guys can't get paid a minimum wage. If the G League ups the money, because Baisley's going to make 19 k you get that up to like 30 40 it'd be a lot more realistic to turn into well, the minor leagues. I, th- I think they'll have it to where it's like in that 50 to 70 range. Yeah, and that'd be a perfect amount. You would definitely yeah, get guys because they well, and they don't pay for rent. Like they get three housing, so it's uh, you know you're pocketing pretty much all that. Like they can they can make it work for for the you know they can. I make, mean, you can always essentially join two way contracts for it. Yeah, exactly. Another thing that was interesting that popped up too, league. or or when or when Trey and I bring uh, Slam Ball back. Oh, I love it! Please, guys, please. I wish I could be behind that. That would be amazing. It was interesting, too, that it came out of Syracuse as the first player because Bayheim talked to Yahoo Sports at the beginning of the month and just completely slammed the concept of guys leaving school and going to the G League. He thought that mm-hmm. players might use their likeness and license themselves. Or otherwise, um, he just didn't see that as a possibility. I mean, you wouldn't want players making money off what they do. Oh, no. ridiculous. So I, I, I get that. That's preposterous. No. Get that out of here. Yeah, it's, a, it's just, a, I mean, that's unsettling. How am I, how am I supposed to explain that to Jade's kids? You know, like, <laughs> yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be tough. Yo, by the way, uh, what, why is KD so mad? Um, hello, sensitive. blog boys. Yeah. Why is can I, so can I give a take? My take is that, uh, he won a championship and, uh, people still are like, eh, it, it does, didn't count in people like Stu Goss's personal record book. And he's like, oh wait, this isn't filling the hole inside me. I thought it would. And now he's mad. Interesting. Yeah. I was going to say the fact I'm, that he's I'm mad after because blogboys.com costs okay. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> I got him. <laughs> Trey just got eaten up. Um, I'm so mad. Uh, try to find a better signal there, Trey. It sounds like he just went down with the Titanic. <laughs> the- yep. Allegedly. Yeah, no. Oh, there you are. Uh, Let me, uh, can you hear better? No, nah, sort of. Uh-huh. Not really. Pablo had a very good take in our group chat. I, I just see this. I just see it. That's why I brought it up. Um, Kevin Durant is both Radio Ethan and everything Radio Ethan hates. That's pretty nice. Yep. That's perfect. Pretty yeah. Spot on. Uh, anyway, I Ken- Trey's take that he that he needs to stop talking when he's on Xbox Live is really. Uh, I thought that was very apt. I mean, yeah, that's what he's doing at this time. He's just kind of relaying the message from a message board at this point. It's just like, dude, lay off. And I think they were pretty drunk off that wine when they were doing that interview. So that's pretty funny. But I calling everyone blog boys is hilarious because he's a blog boy himself. Yeah. Maybe maybe he's the one behind Talk Soups. Oh. Oh. Sounds, sounds oh. like some KD oh. shit. Oh. oh, how about that? Oh. How about that? You haven't maybe said we weren't complimentary enough. Um, no, is- but this is probably the problem is, is I just don't – I don't – and I don't mean this in a derogatory way. I just don't care about Kevin Durant right now, no, right? Like good either. or bad. Like it's just like, and it's and it's kind of weird because he is one of my favorite players to watch because he's a seven foot shooting guard, um, and he's one of the greatest scorers of all time. But it's just, I don't know. He like he's not he's not doing enough in that they don't rely on him to the point where it's like it's a fun watch for me every time. Now when he gets going, he's cooking. Like I I'll stop everything to watch him. But it's just this weird like kind of middle zone. I apologize for the basketball talk. I apologize. No, I mean, in much. terms of Durant, I feel like he's just so bored of the regular season like this Warriors team is. And we're kind of hammering Durant for it. But LeBron of the East, you don't you don't hold him to the same standard when he's coasting in the middle of the season. Warriors have been to the finals three years in a row, projected for four. Why are we why are we holding him to a different standard? Because we're bored. He's not. Yeah. And also because I feel like he's not acting out as much except for calling know. everyone blog boys and burner Twitter accounts. No, yeah, I mean that uh, LeBron's not acting out as much as Kevin Durant, which is why we don't uh, get mad at him as much. I guess that's true. He oh, just promotes no, I'm, himself. I'm, a I'm lot. mad. I'm mad at. Uh, I'm mad at him still. So, 
you know, pretty much the, the whole, the whole, uh, I need promotion while I'm still considered one of the best players in the NBA. It's kind of, he feels like he's disrespect 24 seven and that's not true. That's fair. Wait, where's this quote? I play basketball for a living. They pay me a lot of money for a supreme skill that I have. Why the fuck would I be worried about anything? Is that from the it's Simmons? A great, it's a great question for him to answer. Why is he? Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is going on? And I, I get him. That, that's the thing. Come on. Well, this is like he tried He tried Jesus to make the point with God. like, I ate, I ate Taco Bell and it passed right through me like it would anybody, <laughs> which was a weird that promotion. So a weird, weird. That was a weird live read, but good for him <laughs> on getting that Taco Bell money. Like, um, but, speaking but as someone. That was funny. Well, uh, yeah. But like, but that's right. that's actually an angle where I think it's okay. Like, we get it. Like, you're human. Like, just like, <laughs> I'm fine with that. But just like. Stop being so whiny about it. I, but I don't get what he's reacting to. You yeah. know? His Twitter mentions. That's what it is. Or the fact or, – or like Jake mentioned, like Stu Gatz says he doesn't have a championship in his personal record book. Like who cares? Like why do you care? Why do you care? Like why – like I don't – I don't uh, – other than worried about like talk soups, you know, trying to kill me. I don't – like if he wants to talk shit about me or he's just celebrating me or whatever. Like I just like – I don't care. Like you shouldn't care about that stuff online. None of that stuff's real. It's the Riddler. Oh God, we got another call. Oh man! No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> talk soups, talk soups. Uh, oh okay. wait, talk soups. Th- um, Trey, it's not happening, buddy. <laughs> oh. I know. Sounds uh, terrible. Yep. Yeah. Damn. But I wanted to know if talk soups uh, threatened Zach. Not no, yet. no, it, 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 not it yet. Just uh, any parody account, I think, might be a potential serial killer. Yeah, he's he's oh, getting okay. single white female. <laughs> did Actually, you guys did you guys bring up the uh, that stand? The actual actor that played in Eminem's video did not know what the word stand meant, like the phrase. That's funny. No. Yes, I saw that. That was great. That was... No. Um. That's the, that's the, the last thing on KD is I do wish he would just go and hoop, right? And not worry about the other stuff because he is like, he's one of the greatest players to watch in NBA history. Like he is so fun to watch, like just go hoop and just go be fun on the court and go kill, like do that. And eventually everyone will come around. I not think that will happen. But first round. The playoffs. Yeah. He's going to wake up one day and not care, but until he gets there himself, yeah. we're going to have to and deal what is with he? his he's antics. Like 28. Yeah, he should have gotten there by now, but well, I don't know. I mean, it's it's old for NBA player, or not old, but it's you know experience for NBA player. But like, it's not a lot. Of Katie, Katie's about I, to be thirty. I, yeah, okay, he's about to be like there's not a lot of twenty nine year olds I trust with any decision in life. I barely trust myself with any decision in life. So, you know, I, I like I think we look at these guys as like, oh, you're growing up enough, but that's still not a lot of life experience, even for an NBA player. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like a baby right now, Zach. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> what I'm saying is we're all going to die. That's a great way to think of it. I yeah. mean, that's true in the long run. <laughs> hey, uh, Jay, can I ask a question before I get uh, booted off here for the final 20? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, can't stick around because Jay right, doesn't know how perfect. to boot you anyway. What? Perfect. So, Zach, I realize you're getting into golf. I played golf in my undergrad. What, what is it going to take to make you a, a full-time fan? Um, me knowing that it's on. All right. So that's you got the masters. You got the masters okay. next week. That's a plus it's on from the right. fifth to the eighth. Yeah. Um, okay. But here, here's the problem with golf and I'll, I'll eventually tie it back to basketball. Right. So you've got like five guys who can win any given week right now. It's Spieth, Rory, DJ, Justin Rose, Ricky, and I guess tiger eventually, but because there's no one dominant, people don't watch golf. Like you can't have a business model run on a 42 year old guy with back problems. And I think the most frustrating thing to me as an NBA fan is people constantly complaining for parody. Like golf has a parody problem where whoever's putter is the best out of those six guys will end up winning in the NBA. Like you have the warriors as a target and can talk about the warriors all the time that drives up ratings. Why are we constantly asking for parody in this league? You know what? I got a, I got a take, you know, who wants parody losers. Losers want parody. No one actually wants parody in sports. You want dominance. No one was asking for parody when Michael Jordan won six titles out of eight years. Nobody wanted that. 
Nobody wanted parity when it was just the Celtics and the Lakers. It is just we've gotten to a point where like, oh, well, I wish I was a winner. I wish I could do this. And the fact that just these teams are competing. No, because what we have this year is we have this assumption that Golden State's going to win it all. And they probably will, right? But for the first time in four years, there's legitimate questions about their injuries, other teams being good enough. You know, they're like we have more parity than ever, and people are still trying to bitch about, oh, you know what, this season's already a foregone conclusion. I don't not, you're not paying attention. And you're not paying attention if you want parity. Parity is crap. Parity is for hockey. How's hockey ratings doing? How are those? How do those look think- right now? I also think, Zach, and I, th- I agree with you. I think what you're forgetting, though, is that most people who are sports fans are a fan of their team before they're a fan of the sport as a whole. And right. so that's and why they're mad. They don't want parity. They want their they team want to better. win. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And that's not parity. That's just your team becoming better. And maybe I'm dead inside because I've rooted for the Timberwolves for the last 27 years and they're not any good. And they're never any good. And, I mean, and so it, it, losing doesn't bother me anymore. I've gone through a lot of losing. I was going to say, as a Warriors fan, we, I mean, before my time, but we went you through guys, a shit ton of losing. Are you, you kidding guys me? Were a, the Warriors were a joke for 20 years. Other than 2007, when they had the We Believe, like, they were a joke for 20 years. Yeah, when there's days when I kind of hate myself, I'll go back and read that Bill Simmons article from Grantland about how the Warriors made every single decision, decision wrong just to, you yeah. know, go ahead and pile on. It's In ridiculous. Era, like, oh, my God, they were so <sighs> bad. Help. Help. It's brutal. So, yeah, nobody wants parity. But back to golf, um, it's mostly that <laughs> you, you know what actually helps? You know actually helps is that uh, – uh, CJ, and I told you it would be fine uh, – is with golf, um, I'm at my most attentive with golf when I'm at my most hungover. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I haven't, I haven't been drinking a lot lately. But I think I'm willing to make the sacrifice of drinking a lot in order to be hungover <laughs> to watch golf on my couch. <laughs> That's poetic. Yeah. yeah. Just I'm, a great way to watch. I'll, I'll do it for the sport of it. Yep. Right. Like I'm giving, I'm sacrificing myself to the sport. Yeah. I'll, you know what? I'll take it, Zach. Whoever you get it, because golf needs yeah. all the ratings it can get right now. And I know we've done the live read oh, already, but I, I am, I'm stuck on this. I'm stuck on this golf. It doesn't draft. though, though, man. It's so good because um, doesn't it like have its its audience is so wealthy? It doesn't necessarily need a large. Um, on mass their, audience. Their, audience, their audience is old. This is the problem. This is the problem with a lot of like, you know, radio and everything is that um, is that the audience is established, but that audience is eventually going to die off and not be in that demographic anymore. You have to find a way to capture young fans. Young people. Ain't yeah, watching the golf. record. Jay, I've watched to... golf three consecutive weekends. So, Ooh. yo, I've never felt so poor. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Yo, the way. Yo, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Um, but the, the thing with golf, you're right, Jade, like it's a, it's a small audience, yeah. but they're, they're about breaking even right now on their, their broadcast because without tiger, people don't necessarily go to the events to watch even despite the talent. Cause they want dominance. As Zach said, like people flash back to tiger at pebble in uh, 2000 when he won the U S open by 15 strokes. Like that's yeah. what people want to watch. You know um, what? Maybe we need two in golf It's just like, you know, I don't want to make it gimmicky. But let's find a way to kind of marry current golf and like like putt putt, mm-hmm. right? Like let's put a couple of obstacles in there. Maybe in the, maybe all that is is just more alligators on a golf course. Yeah, I want the need. breathing fire, the dragon breathing fire. The windmills, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind you, could a, you could tie in, tie in a Game of Thrones, <laughs> uh, you know, sponsorship, and that brings some money into golf. Like we can make this work. I don't know why they would have this, but archers, archers with uh, with like. You know, flaming yes. arrows. Let's have yes. them just shoot uh-huh. they're not shooting at people, just shooting around the golf course. So yeah. basically Spice turn golf into Game of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones is very popular right now. Yeah, exactly. That's a great idea. Great marketing. Um, yeah. I think the most exciting golf I ever saw was uh, 2012 Ryder Cup, where on the first tee, the players actually pumped people up to make noise before their tee shots. Like getting the fans involved would also help. But hey, foreign concept. I think you need, uh, I think you need some more like personality too, right? Oh, like, yeah. you, I remember, you need some guys talking shit to each other. I thought, I that, remember they, that, uh, I thought that they had that, though, with these – like some of these dudes. No, like they're Ricky, so vanilla. Like, like, like Ricky Fowler away, like, and uh, Yeah, what I was going to say Bubba? is I remember that um, my – Bubba Sparks? I remember like it was like probably like five or six years ago. My dad's a big golf fan and he was telling me about how 
Ricky Fowler was at like I think Augusta and he was doing an interview with his hat backwards. Yeah. And like an official came over and was like, No, you have to turn your hat around. And he's like, No, but you can't see my face. My hair is my face. Like, no, no, no. You have to turn your hat around. And I'm like, Oh, so they don't want anyone under the age of fifty to watch golf. <laughs> like like it was ridiculous when they did that the Ken Griffey Jr. and like baseball in the nineties, and it's even worse now. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, because it's all like country club rules, right? I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. the kind of riffraff they try to keep out of places like that. The, yeah. the whites. The whites are at it again. Women still <laughs> can't be members of Augusta. 2018, well, I mean, baby. Yeah, what would happen if <laughs> let women start being members at Augusta? That'd be, <laughs> I mean, that would just be a travesty. There it is. It'd be horror awful. The yeah. Masters pumps in fake bird chirping sounds. That is so funny. I that's can't every, believe that's, that's every the thing you thought team. was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're out here saying the moon landing didn't happen, JFK. You know, who knows what happened with that? Uh, the Titanic was an insurance scam, but Zuckerberg, bird noise. Bird Zuckerberg noise. Zuckerberg You're like, uh oh. Oh, man. Oh, that. You know what? I'm in on that. I'm in on that guy being a crisis actor. InQtel. Look that up. Hey, hey Trey, you still there? <laughs> Trey, we lose you. Yeah, I'm still. I'm still here. What's up? Well, how's the uh, How's the plane? I just. Oh, uh, we're uh, getting ready to board now in a minute. I'm just over here, like trying to find a decent area so I can chime in. But I was, I was listening to the golf talk, and I said I never felt so poor until I went to the waste management tournament. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I definitely saying. felt like. Sc- I was like, geez, man. I don't belong here, not for golf. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty much trash, trash golfer. Um, got a got a chance to swing a couple strokes at uh at the Paradise Valley Golf Course in uh, Arizona. That's the thing with golf; it's really difficult to pick up. It's the sport where you can rely on your athleticism the least. Um, oh man, yeah, that my, shit's real humbling, dog. It's yeah. tough. My, da- my dad always told me he's like, I think you'd be a great golfer. Not like not like pro or anything. But he's like, I think you would really enjoy golf. You'd be good at it. And the first time I went to a driving range, I've only been a couple of times. The first time mm-hmm. I went to a driving range, first swing, I nailed that ball. Mm-hmm. Like nailed it. Like a, a really like that was it. Great drive for a first time. And I thought, wow, my dad was right. I, I'm good at this. I'm just naturally good at it. Second swing, missed the ball completely. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was the most humbling the first experience. Time. Yeah, it was the most humbling experience within two swings. I was like, I'm really good at this. Oh, right. I've never done this before. <laughs> oh, you know the other thing about golf I don't like? They got a bunch of narcs. Yes. Oh my God. Like, Golf is like, yes. Like people Dead calling on. in saying that was a rules violation. Like, yo, what are you doing with your life to where that is important to you? You know, you're calling in. Speaking of rules, like golf up until the professional level is pretty much self officiated. And I play D three golf. So I had some real hacks and I had some people who were really good in my conference. And so the people that would cheat would be the people who are shooting like 90 to 95. And it's not like, you know, going bogey golf is going to win you any tournaments, but they're cheating, like trying to lower their score from quadruple bogey to triple bogey so they can play the next tournament to get out of class. It was the most frustrating thing. Like we oh, compl- complain about that. refs yeah. in the NBA. Well, like, get out of class. come on, yeah. I get come that. on, man. Wait, do they know that they just don't have to go to class? Well, I mean, because tournaments take the full day, and it's not like there's a golf course right next to your school. You got to go drive out to the middle of nowhere. So no, 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 no. My point is that you don't have to be in a golf course. I mean, a golf tournament not to go to class. That was. Oh, well, that's true. That's very true. If you get a pass because you have to go play in a golf tournament, tournament is that a swing doctor's note? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, just check. Just check. They're not all winners. I hate you. That's they're for Trey. All, they're not all. They're not all aces, as they say in golf. Oh. And, and Zach, you claim to not be a troller. That's a good one. Uh, not a, that wasn't a troll. That was just a, <laughs> a really awful joke attempt. <laughs> that was good. All right, guys. We don't have any good. questions. I'm taking any, no questions. Any questions? I mean, any, any good ones out there? We have questions. There's a few good ones. Right, we just didn't go. get to them. What do we got? Yeah, let's jump. Go ahead. Let's fire right. away. From Michael Overby at M Overby eighty seven. What's the most obvious way to tell someone is trash at pickup basketball before you've even seen them play? For me, it's always been wearing a hat or wearing an NBA player's jersey while playing. A hat? <laughs> People uh, wear hats on I'll, the court? You can, you, can tell, you can tell how someone holds a basketball. Yeah. I Listen, agree. if somebody wears a hat on a basketball court, that means they're ready to use all their fouls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, generally or the like jersey with a t-shirt under it, I think is really bad. In hockey, it was always the dude who would have the best gear. Honestly, he mm. just he'd come out with the fresh helmet, the brand like the super expensive skates, and he could he could just couldn't play at all. You know, I I think I tweeted this a couple weeks ago to to Trey. But there was one time when I was like, I was like 20 or 21, something like that, uh, maybe even a little bit younger. And I showed up to a, to a pickup game wearing like, uh, like wristbands and like finger bands, like for sweat. And this, and this old guy, this older guy, I mean, older guy, he was like in his thirties, but this older guy looks at me before we start playing and he goes, you better be good with all that bullshit on. It was the last time I wore <laughs> that stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's, and it's, you and, know, you need, and that's, you need and the and that's light compared to now. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, people wearing shooting sleeves. You, you, no one needs a shooting sleeve playing anything but college and NBA. Nobody needs a shooting. Yo, what's a, what's a poser in golf? Oh, oh that's man. a good question. Um, wearing double gloves. Wearing double gloves is usually a sign. Double gloves. Why people would that go even double be a gloves? Thing? Why? Yeah, I mean, don't, don't people know that a glo- that double gloves makes the gloves more likely to break? Yeah. <laughs> Are there, no, are there no, a lot of meaning left hand and right hand. Not we're not we're not talking two gloves on one hand. We're talking left oh, hand and right like, hand. Yeah, I thought I that. Really I thought that. Hand. But I'm, I thought we were talking about two condom situations. I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> no. um, Please relax. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, don't worry. The joke I made earlier was on that, but you you're the one who they got mad at. So I'm going to take. <laughs> joke and then you can usually tell pretty quick by like their grip and how they're standing if they have any hope. And then usually posers have like the best clubs, the best golf balls. They're talking about how much money they shelled out on this equipment. This has made their game a lot better. And then they hit it OB on the first tee. That's out of bounds for you, uh, non golfers. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate the clarification. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, uh, not everyone's a golf head like us. So, yeah, I, just, <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> um, I don't like to brag, but I've played a lot of golf video games in my life, so I kind of, I kind of. Oh, we got a Pelton question. Oh, Tiger Woods. Oh, my yeah, second Tiger favorite Woods KP. Great. Who's your first KP? Me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm here for that. That's a great. That was a great joke. You better ding that man. <laughs> careful can because he's gonna try to take that for himself he's gonna take that day don't think i didn't notice jade after we got the ding totals, you all of a sudden what? started you got real Jack, generous you're with up. yourself you're breaking up am i <laughs> am i i don't think i am wait what's more valuable scoring points in the nba and getting in the nba scorebook or getting in the ding scorebook here on this podcast i'm not sure oh man we lose jade definitely the ding so. scoreboard <laughs> what no i'm here Oh, man. Jaden, you wanted to end this stuff early. This is great content. There was a funny one on uh, someone had tweeted me about the Monday show. So the Monday show opens up. If you go back to it, it's like Trey says, What is up? And I say, what is up? And I ding myself. <laughs> yeah. Somebody goes, so I was so mad. No, I know. No, that. I know. Like, I know. No. That. You guys do, uh, you do not understand the art of starting a show. Come on. <clears throat> but I, one thing I did, I, I something I like exactly that. What you said, but I think it was on. I think it was on. Uh, Does that not work for you? <laughs> That just got a ding, by the way. Whoa. That just got oh, a ding. Of course it did. Thank of you. course, this whole, this whole fucking Keep conversation up, is giving you ding. Keep up the good I work. Think it, uh, I think it was on the Tuesday show uh-huh. where you were doing an ad read and you didn't make any jokes. You just were doing the ad read and you gave yourself a ding. And I'm like, oh are you God. serious? Are you sure? Oh, my God. Are you sure, Jake? I'm almost positive it was just uh, during the Almost positive, you might have, of course. You, Jake, you might never have, change. Don't listen to these haters. Almost never change. positive. No, it, it gives the show character, but still. Jade, Jade you, you, you come at the king. You best not miss. 
Oh, you're gonna, right. you're gonna need all these like, dings. You're gonna need them all. It's like how <laughs> it's like how Russ, you know, was started getting more assist total. Like he would get more assists at home. You know what I mean? And he got closer right. to the uh, exactly. triple double. Oh, yes, that's exactly what it's like. Hello. Hey, ma. Ma. Mama hoy. Yeah, Mama hoy. How are hey, you? Oh my God. What? Sorry. You Show's... guys, the day is over. What's going on oh, over there? Show's a little bit know. of a mess yeah. today. A little bit of a mess of a show today, but I'm giving you your eight minutes, Ma. You're down to 740. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where, where do you want me to start? What did uh, you watch this week? What did you watch this week? Well, you know what? Somebody there, who was it that suggested the man in the high castle? Somebody. Uh, I suggested that like Sounds six like weeks Anthony ago. Sounds like an Anthony suggestion. So I, I, we watched it. I mean, mm-hmm. that's Ridley Scott thing. That thing is so grim. You guys know what it's about, right? Yes. It's a, no. it's another one, another alt reality. It's like they, they we didn't win what was World, World, World War Two. The Nazis and the Japanese like win, and they they split America into three zones, and it's extremely oppressive and. I don't know. It's scary. Yes. It really is very it's, grim. So, uh, Total, totalitarianism in the USA. Yeah. It, I didn't know so, that that was Ridley Scott, honestly. <laughs> he has something to do. I think he's, he's a producer. producer. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's another one of those. Uh, this one's an, not an alternate universe, alternate history. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, so wait, I, as like, um, uh, like the handmaiden's tale, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so we we kind of binged it, kind of, a number of them, and I'm going to my husband going, Rich, I don't know if I could do another one, you know? I don't know, I got to, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, so Dad's really enjoying it. Yeah, so That's... what was his story? His, he loves history, are you kidding mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. Oh, he made, he made me watch Noam Chomsky this morning. <laughs> about, okay. Okay. Mom, 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 I have a question. What, what's does, a, what's the question? How does how does his view of history line up with Jade's view of history? Wait, my view of history line up? No, with no, my... no, Dad. No, no, no. How, how does, yeah, how does how does how does uh, your husband's view of history they line have, up with Jade? They have replica DNA. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, right, Jade. That's right, Ma. That is it. Where do you think okay, I got it from, one... Zach? I trust me. It comes from my dad. Let's just say that. Okay. It does. Just yeah. checking. My brother does not does not have that DNA, by the way. He's got a couple strands, oh, I think... but not he's not yeah. full. He's not fully in like I am. Yeah. Hey, Mama Hoy. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, first time, long time. This is Jay Christie. How you doing? Hello. I'm curious because I haven't watched it yet. Uh, have you watched the premiere of the Americans yet? I want to. Uh, I'm excited for it. I, I did watch it. I did watch it. What what do you think? I mean, I, so I, I haven't I've have not watched it yet. I was just curious if what if you had any thoughts cuz I knew you get bored by it. But yeah, I was I actually going to watch it this I, weekend. I, yeah, but I got it. I'm addicted to it, so I have to watch it. And it's kind, of, you know, it's 3 years since yeah. the last show technically or theoretically and they, you know, now Elizabeth and Philip are sort of working a, Philip has quit. He wants to be American. But Elizabeth is still gung ho. So you got to check it. And and Paige is. Yeah. Remember they were initiating Paige, yeah. the daughter. She's now working with her mom. So it'll be interesting. See what happens. So I, I th- I'm going to watch it. I can't. Not yeah, I'm watch excited. It. I wish Waz were on because I know Waz is a big, uh, big Americans. Actually, wait, I, I'm just going to, if Waz were here, this is what he would say. Man, Philip's got a defect, dude. Okay, that's <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm wondering how it's going to end, how they're going to, because this is the last season. This is it? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Interesting. So what else did I want? Oh, I know what I want to tell you guys about, mm-hmm. um, well, the terror. The okay? terror. It's, okay. Now, this is a Ridley Scott, and this is two ships, and it's also based on truth, Two ships that go up into the north and looking for a, a way to cut across from the North Pacific or Atlantic to the Pacific, yes. and their boats get trapped in the ice. Oh my God! This is I, oh. I'm watching this tonight. Did you watch it? No, but I love Tales of the Sea. It's like my favorite thing in oh. the whole world. I, these kind of these type of movies, uh, shows, whatever. It, oh my God! 
It's monstrous. This it, is there are some on May nineteenth, eighteen forty five, Sir John Franklin and the hundred and twenty eight men under his command set forth from Green Hith, just east of London on the River Thames, to find the long sought Northwest Passage, believed to be the link to the North Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. It's, it's, but they show some scenes that that you are, are just amazing. You know, they do. Um, they have everything. They do some surgery on a guy, and you're like, you want, you can't. You, you, I've got my hands in front of my eyes. Wait, 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 right? wait, wait. This is a true story. It's based on truth. But there's this. Yeah. I kind of want to do a spoiler, but there's this very uh, supernatural aspect to it. Yeah, so I don't, yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, that's based on a true story. Maybe somebody came along, took it, and then fictionalized it right. to a certain extent, right? Yeah, I'm like, so, uh, tales but it's of the a, sea. But the, it's go check it. Definitely check it. And you want any more suggestions? Yeah, keep one going. Of your, one of your fans told me to watch Money Heist, mm -hmm. so I want to respond. I started watching it. It's about uh, it's on Netflix, and it's about this crew that that's going to rob the Royal Mint of Spain. It's a gigantic robbery, and they they're assembled by a professor. He gets this crew, and each of these members has a very unique skill at, at robbery. So you know, we'll see. I, I I start watching that. I just wanted you to know that it was one of your fans. It's a Spanish that suggested show. It. Um, it yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be willing to read captions. Okay. Uh, it's very well reviewed. Is it? Uh, I see. Money heist. Yeah. I'll probably continue with it. 8.8 .8 on IMDb. And, and, Not bad. And then of course I have to ask you guys, uh, did anybody watch Roseanne? There were, I was one of the 18 million. I did not. watch. I made it. Jake, did you All watch right, it? I made it? I made it through 20 minutes. No. Um, Twenty okay. minutes. I mean, I'm I I I hate to say this, but I'm a little young for the original, and so I really have no nostalgia about it. I didn't even, I didn't uh, watch so, it. I mean, you 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 had to get out. My, I can't watch that nonsense. No, I watched. I made it through twenty minutes, and I'm going. Okay, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, eighteen over eighteen million people watched it. So Episode anyway, one. I was. I, right. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I yeah, know. eighteen million people watched the first episode. That's it for me, though. Not um, that's not a. It's already been renewed for se season two, so really, yes. that was quick. Well, I mean, eighteen million people don't watch anything that's not sports anymore. So right, yeah, yeah. like exactly. Yeah. I think uh, people forget that there's so much. Like, I, it's where's those eighteen million people? It's like all the people who are not in the northeast or west. Uh, yeah, I mean, is it is it just them now? Essentially, is the show? Yes. I never. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I watched that show intermittently when I was a kid. I didn't. I wasn't a big fan. It just was too. Wait a minute. Was it, it on in our house? I can't imagine. No. I had that on. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It was just. It was hard to not watch it. I suppose. In syndication, I don't even know. I can't remember. I, we didn't watch it as a family. I, you know? But it's just funny because eight, eight over eighteen million. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot. So they say. And, so that's um that's it. I'm good. Um, and the Legion Legion's coming back next week. I'm very excited. Hey Mama Hoy. What? This is this is Kent. I'm a I'm a guest today. Did you um did you catch Alex Inc. by chance this week? No. That's uh Alex that's Alex Inc. Inc. Yeah. I N K I N C. Like incorporated. Oh, I -N -C. Yeah, oh, it's, okay. a, it's a show about um, this guy leaving his marketing job to start up a podcast. Felt that would be uh, oh, pretty oh, pertinent. Oh, he stole our idea, Jake. Wait. Yeah, honestly, I I would I would watch it, but I'm so out on Zach Braff. Yeah, I can't that, do uh, Wait, Zach Braff. who's showing it? Is that ABC? ABC, okay. All right, um, I don't usually watch uh, network it's a, TV. It's a sitcom, uh, it's a, okay. I watch Silicon Valley. I watch some sitcoms. Come on. Yeah. So not many. Once, like once Zach Braff asked the world to fund his crappy indie movie, which title doesn't have make grammatical sense, I was out on him. What was that called? Yeah, but then you got to think it about was Scrubs. Called, it was sure, but he didn't make he didn't come up with Scrubs. Uh, it was called Wish I Was Here. Wish I Was Here. 
Which is just like, oh, God. I, I watch it's that. Indie movies got to stop sometimes. <laughs> I watch that. Oh, man. Anyway. All right. There's Ma. a lot of good TV. All right. My, my, my time's up. Yeah, you, should, you did okay. very well. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye, Mama Hoy. Bye, Mama Hoy. Bye. See Bye. you later. Um, Harper. Harper left. He had to go back to his meeting. Um. That's so funny. Um, anyways, see, I got my mom in after all. My mood there changed. My mood changed. Eden. She was, she was going to be really sad. She she was like, "It's late. You were going to break her heart if you didn't have her on." Oh, uh, I well, I wrote to her and uh, I had said, "Show is a mess today." She goes, "No, Mama Hoy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zach had a, a radio hit. Uh, a, Trey is officially in the air. Wheels up, he says. Um, I can't think of anything else we can do here. I was a little time. sad that uh, Tom didn't get to come on the pod. I want to tell him that story about uh, about my producer ripping me on a Wake Forest call for using numbers. It would have been great. Tom was on the call earlier, but he had to go. I'm so sorry. sad. But you got to stay a long time, Kent. I did. I am very thankful for this opportunity, you know. Jade. I'm glad I, uh, glad I didn't screw the pooch here. What? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. People say that? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's a phrase. Screw the pooch. Uh, anyway, Jake, how's your student debt looking? Uh, I, I mean, do I, this is a sore subject because I go to NYU and everyone I know has student debt. Oh. But I do have a scholarship. I do have a scholarship that gives me enough money where uh, I do not have student debt. I'll just leave it at that. Nice. Is that because you helps. did really well in high school? Yes, I did do very well in high school. Nice, as you might nice. imagine by everything. As you might imagine by everything about my personality. Um, well, I'm just curious. I just want to keep my kids on that track because I will never be able to afford yeah, college. Just, yeah, just just get them to do well. Um, also, especially because like doing well in high school is like not super hard. It's just like a effort thing. Effort thing. I mean, not yeah. even that. It's just like it's just like just do, if you do everything you're asked in public school, you'll basically you'll basically you'll, you'll pass. Try, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just don't let them be kids who don't do stuff. Like that's you know. Yeah, I'll be. Yeah, I make my best. Make sure they take those standardized tests multiple times because you definitely improve a lot after after round one. I made a mistake uh, by going to private prep school because uh, I mm -hmm. functioned much better in a public school. Because um, I mean, honestly, at, when I went to Loomis, the kids were just a lot smarter and it intimidated me. And so I, I kind of backtracked in how I learned and how I just was able to uh, keep up. Whereas in, in public school, I was like um, much more comfortable, mainly because the kids were less smart, right? <laughs> By concentration, I mean. So I uh, went to a <laughs> private elementary school for three weeks when I was in fifth grade. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, it's, I, don't, I don't know if you ever like kept track of the top schools or whatever in the country is the school called a uh, Harker putting them on blast. I developed a stress like scab because I was doing about five and a half homework hours of homework a night and um, the stress gap on my lip. Like it was going into my mouth. It was really weird. This is disgusting. And the breaking point, <laughs> the breaking point for my dad it's was we, we live on this street <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> where there's not much like traffic. So we go out okay. on the street and go play hockey a lot. So, so fifth grade Kent delivers his most dramatic line. I, I look outside and I go, I miss the days when I could go outside and play. And the mm. next day my dad went in, got me out of the school. That was uh, that was, shout was, to your that dad. was a shout out Papa Paisley. That was a, that was a rough time in my life. Uh, I go to it's like most of the kids who go to NYU went to private school just because mm -hmm. most people who can afford NYU. And I can just safely say. Private school is the is one of the worst things for developing an interesting personality. Like they are just it's especially kids who went to New York City private schools yeah. are the most like some of them like have broken out of it and are nice, but like if you want to meet people who have like no ideas about like anything interesting to say about the world, meet some people who went to like the big private schools in New York City because they are all just like all they care about is what goes on between like. Street and uh, the financial district. 
Yeah, we had I had this kid the other day. I was sitting waiting for a meeting. He's on his phone and he's like, "Oh yeah, the stock market's been really bad this week. I lost 700k." I'm like, "Fuck you! Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck you to talk about that Ken, much money like God in public? It. Get the fuck out of here!" Ken, Ken, I was I Ken, <laughs> Ken, Ken, dude. Oh, was, I, by the way, was I, that was Ken. that Evan Scrimshaw? Was that Evan Scrimshaw by the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Wow. <laughs> uh, sorry, wow. Evan. Had to do it. Um, <laughs> he's he's not wrong. Evan. Doesn't that make sense? Isn't that a good joke? I pop into that solid dude's that chat. That was good. Every here and there, and I it, see, it see this guy. Good. He's a maniac. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, I'm going to call this show. Guys, thank you so much for joining us in the Friday mail. But unusual this week. What's today's date? Um, Today is. 30th, is, is March the, 30th. And there's one more day of, is there one more day of March or is that it for, for yeah, March? Yeah. One more day yeah, of March. March. There's one more day. Uh, so for those of you listening to this on Sunday, yes, indeed, it is April Fool's. So for Zach Harper, for Trey, for Mariano, who was on the show, for Tom Haberstrow, for Lisa Roger, she was a great guest, huh? Um, yeah, she was good. For Eden Lou, Jake Christie, for the 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 number one KP in my life, Kent Paisley. Uh, who Love else? It. Who else? Anybody else? Mama Hoy. Mama Hoy. Mama Hoy. And I think that'll do it. I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. Jake. All right, happy Easter, Thanks, everyone. Jake. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye bye. Peace. Yeah. sacrifice of drinking a lot in order to be hung over to watch <laughs> golf on my couch. That's poetic. Yeah. yeah. Great I'll, I'll, I'll do it for this board. So hard to say goodbye to yesterday. <laughs> we all know that the Boys to Men version is way better than the Beatles version, right? That's right. Okay, I just want to make sure. Oh, we got a Pelton question. Oh. Tiger Woods. Oh, my yeah, second Tiger favorite KP. Great. Who's your first KP? Me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm here for that.